All right, all right. How's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully, everything goes smoothly tonight, right? Apparently. Oh, oh, I'm a little sleepy. Kind of slept late because guess what? <laughs> In preparation for Dogma 2 last night, I downed like a whole ass big cup of coffee. And then I couldn't figure out my importing issues until well after the fact. And I'm like, oh, oh. So yeah. I didn't get that much sleep last night. But uh, yeah. So, now that... Now that uh, I got some help figuring out how to get my characters actually imported, and from what I can observe, I think everything should be set in place. Ugh. Oh. I just want... I just want to get out of the prologue. But that's all I want to do tonight. I've been seeing like all the negative reviews, you know, and justifiably so for the in, in terms of like the quality of the PC port, and also kind of understandably with the microtransactions. Even though the microtransactions are nothing burgers for any for anyone that's played the game, or even just Dragon's Dogma One and knows how meaningless the microtransactions are, it's on the same level of what was it? It's on the same level of Devil May Cry Five. Because, like, you have, like, oh, the Red Orb DLCs and, like, whatever the heck. It's, like, you can farm that shit within a matter of, like, minutes or just playing the game normally. And you won't need any more. <laughs> so it's, like, I'm pretty sure it's just down to the usual, like, the suits want the devs to put in microtransactions that the devs don't want. And the devs are, like, okay, what's, like, the most useless DLC that we could try to pitch to try to implement to just get it out there and just say screw it let, like, and not affect the rest of the game that we want to put out although some other things that are some other uh blemishes on dogma 2 at least just on startup you can delete your save file although i think they put out in like some steam update or not update but like uh what was it also how you doing abdo uh, i'll get to you in a second uh let me see uh oh wow i can see people i can see more people on my own steam friends is leaving negative reviews god damn uh where's the uh thing wasn't there like a that store page was it discussion no community hub uh oh yeah yeah so they're looking into you know performance issues and bugs and crashes they're they're <laughs> Looking to add a feature on Steam to allow people to restart their game or make a new game. I'm just like, bro. Bro, even Dogma 1 lets you fucking make a new file. I'm like, what do you mean? The problem is you can't edit character without uh, paying up. No, you can edit your character in-game. You literally just go, oh, I, I don't know exactly where, but it's uh, just like in Dogma 1, where you can just go to an NPC for a cosmetic change, although I think that was just for hair. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it's in-game. It's right there. But then in Dogma 2, I assume it's a similar case of you can probably find some appearance like editor or whatever down the road but then the dlcs are like oh let me just save you two minutes or some shit <laughs> which is kind of what people are angry about and justifiably so it's like why the fuck is this even here standard capcom de nouveau performance issues limited one file yeah all that too i hide in Nesca. but yeah okay so getting back to your question earlier abdo so the issue so let me try to like cleanly summarize the timeline and where things went wrong. So, so before the stream yesterday, I was doing the usual pre-stream test, you know, like for performance stuff, enable bandwidth test mode on OBS so I can try to simulate 
performance under stream conditions without actually going live. I was like, okay, I was like mashing through the prologue so I don't spoil too much and learn too much about the game yet. I was like, okay, I was like, oh, like the performance while capped at 60 FPS in the settings. I was like, oh, okay, the, the frame feels smooth for now. The combat feels really smooth. I'm like, oh, this shit feels good on mouse and keyboard, actually. I was like, hold up. And I was like, okay. And we, I skipped some more cutscenes that lands you in the foresty open world area. And then I just kind of like look around, walk around, try to look for anything weird. I was like, okay, we all, we good, I think. So then I go back to the title screen. Then I go, wait a second. Where's my option to delete the save file or make a new game? And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to dig into a specific file or folder to delete my save file. So then, you know, I turned off the game. I looked at where the saves are held. I deleted everything in that folder and then moved on to stream for tonight or for the last or during, sorry, uh, then I booted up the stream from last night. And I was like, okay. And then we get in, go through the prologue a bit, and then I was like, wait, where's my prompt to import my character? And then we tried out a couple solutions because I thought it was like some weird Steam Cloud thing because people were having issues with like Steam Cloud stuff, but that was debunked. Uh, like maybe it was something super stupid, like, oh, maybe for some reason Capcom thought you'd only had to search in your C drive or your main drive. Or wherever your pawns are, st or wherever your pre-made models are stored. I was like, okay, let me let me just move everything to my main drive and see if that works. It didn't. I was like, wait. Then so I was like, what's the solution then? And then uh, Asklo and Disc helped me out uh, off stream on Discord. So they, I mean, they even asked me midstream, but I was under too much stress to actually like. Uh, I kind of misinterpreted what they were trying to help me out with, so I feel sorry about that. But uh. Basically, it's like, what if they put the the pre-made character files in the same folder as the Dogma 2 game file save? I was like, wait, that can't be right. Because the character creator is a separate app that you download before the game is launched. Why would the pre-made character files be placed in the folder for a game that's not released yet? And then I was like, wait... And then I look at my recycle bin, and then I I restored all of those files, barring the the uh, the game save file. I was like, wait, I was like, because I, like, I was like, wait. Uh, so there's the game save file. What are these files? And then I restored those, and then off of a fresh, like clean save, or uh, sorry, uh. Off of a fresh profile to start a new game with, I load in, skip the prologue, and immediately, without fail, just like that, would you like to import your character? I'm like, what? I'm just like, bro. So, they did, in fact, take your pre-made character files from the separately downloaded character creation app that you can download to you know like i like i just said to make your characters beforehand so that you can just immediately get your character imported and going and you just get to str straight to playing the game it's like normally like at least how i think it would have been implemented right uh i thought it would have been like it saves your pre-made character files to you know this specified folder whether or not you would have like uninstalled it or whatever after the game launches, it, it, like the folder will still linger there, so it knows where to pull from. Then Dogma Two, I would have thought, search for a, the pre-made character folder. I was like, oh, here is the list of pre-made characters. Which, which one would you like to select? Even though it, in the character creator settings it says, oh, uh, press which one you want to be imported. <laughs> they only have one. But, but basically, it sends two pre-made character files for your Arisen and your main pawn. I was like, okay. I was like, maybe a search for the folder. No, no, it just placed the files right then and there in a game that's not released yet. I'm like, wait, why is it implemented like that? I, I'm just so flabbergasted at that implementation. 
Maybe it made sense sense in their head to just put it right in the same folder and not keep it in a, some separate folder or whatever in case people might have like um, in case people might uninstall the character creator and like when the normal game comes out I don't hacking know. But yeah. So so that's basically the whole thing in a nutshell. So TLDR like after my pre-stream test, I deleted my, not only my save file, but my pre-made character files by accident. And then I got confused. And then I ended the stream in sadness and frustration. And then I got help on Discord saying, it's like, hey, did you delete your pre-made character files by accident? And then in disbelief, I'm like, no way I did that. I went to the recycle bin, restored the other files that wasn't the game data. I was like, wait, are these it? Skip to the prologue. Boom, would you like to import? Boom. I'm just like, oh my god. You think that, like, you think that they make a separate folder within the, the game save file in Steam for game save and imported character. Like, I know that's like making an extra folder where maybe there shouldn't be, but in terms of like, you know, not trying to like overly saturate the folder space with like all these subfolders and everything i'm not sure how the reasoning will work on in programming or game dev or whatever I, like, i'm not a programmer but it's like i would have thought they would have separated the two somehow <laughs> they put them together and there's no clear indication of the file names indicating which file is game data and which file is character data so when I saw all of like, oh, game 000.bin or game 00-1.bin or something or ss1 whatever dot bin. I thought those were all like, you know, game save or configs for your graphics among whatever other things you would put in those files. I didn't think they were the character information. So, yeah. So, at the end of all this, it was my fault. Yep. <laughs> at the end of everything, my, the, the source of my misery was myself. Hey, that's cool. How you doing? But yeah, you didn't miss anything? Yeah, I just, I just kind of like recapping slightly ranting at myself for the little mishap about the character import. And one, trying to make excuses for myself. Two, just trying to vent my frustrations at like a small action that I didn't think would have impacted anything ended up being the root cause of the character import issues. And we didn't even get into like the rest of the game where people were, you know, reportedly crashing, like seeing all the issues within the cities and all that stuff. It's not my fault, it's Capcom stupidity. <laughs> A little bit of a and b regarding the character import files but like oh my god like yeah but yeah it did not need to be this janky and it i in my opinion the character pre-made character file implementation probably could have been implemented in a better way that could have avoided me or uh pre or where we could have avoided me accidentally deleting my pre-mades Thankfully, again, I restored them because I didn't empty my ride recycle bin. So, whew. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way and off my chest, let's try again for Dogma 2. Wish me luck. Oh. <sighs> Um, why is this still in, like, 720p? Imagine playing this game on console. At least, like, the game is consistent at 30 FP- Well, above 30 FPS, I gotta say. Okay. So let me- So let me double check my stuff here, real quick. Hmm. 
Actually, I don't know. I, I'll have to feel this out. Ursula. Yeah, we're gonna have to see the mouse movement later. Why am I dipping below 60 FPS on the main menu? <laughs> Okay, I see what I gotta do here. Alright, Dragon's Dogma 2 EXE. Set to high priority. Alright, alright. <laughs> Again, let me know if there's any weird stutters or weird graphical issues on stream. Max, okay, max 60. Uh, reflex low latency. Okay, maybe... What? Oh my god, I did not mean to put it that low. Eh, just knock it down a little bit. And we'll have to see how the rest of it looks. Okay. Okay. Is that PS5 controller? I mean, it's just the DualShock prompts in general. Because I have a DualShock 4 controller. But I'm gonna play on keyboard. Uh, just so I can see how how it goes. And let's let all the cutscenes and everything play out because I kind of deleted the VOD from the initial attempt because I don't want the VOD to be there for just tech uh, issues. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. All right. Hey, Bryce. Welcome, welcome. I just had a whole recap and rant earlier about what happened and how the import issues got fixed. And we're just gonna replay the intro scenes here so we can kind of like view them again because I did delete the VOD or at least on YouTube. I think Twitch is still there or did I delete that too? I don't remember. But uh yeah because it was just tech issues the stream On last guess. night. Lend me your ear. Long as our Febramon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last! I did delete it. Yeah. The bell has told on the age of the console. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> Huzzah! My word! Such an inspiring visage! To so delete itself eventually, both of our hands, I... How long I have awaited this moment. Long have we awaited. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen. Hit him. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside Demonstrate thy will. 
For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. All right. I mean, I'm going to skip this part, though. I'm all too familiar with this part. <laughs> Screw that. Now, which one of you was <laughs> No need to be shy. I've just got to take uh, down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Okay. So, assuming this still works, because, uh, like, again, I tested it before I slept. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Yes. Yes. Please. Oh, there we go. Oh. So, very good. Yep. So to clarify, I, I based her off of, or I tried my best basing her off of, what the fuck? Oh shit, wait, it didn't save the age? Wait. Okay, hold on. I need to go Google this. How old was Sarah in Trails? <laughs> but yeah, I based her off of Sarah in uh, from the Trail series. And what I tried to do, I I still had Reverie installed, which had the model mode where you can examine and like put on costumes and other accessories on like characters and put them in like other scenic locations or whatever. So then I basically like put sarah in the swimsuit so i can actually see like the body features and everything and just try to eyeball from <laughs> reverie's model mode into the character creator <laughs> it took a while i feel so stupid for research research I, I swear but yeah wait how old is she again by the time we get to reverie uh 27 right okay there we go because i swear i said it there but then uh, huh. Oh, 28. Oh, right. Oh, right, yeah, because that's only a uh, Cold Steel 4 ish. Oh, wait, what? The lucky person who gets the Sarah's Leaver stuff to go for the Dragon's Claw game session. <laughs> Alright. And yeah, uh, we're gonna start as the Thief because that's kind of like the sort of kind of the closest thing we got to start with, like thematically before we end up swapping her to all kinds of different vocations regardless <laughs> uh i still not fully satisfied with like uh, i feel like that what was it? in your eyes it is queerly brazen for a pawn she does auto advance i forget oh no it doesn't but yeah so i also tried to implement like reen as the main pawn i gotta say it's it's not gonna look super duper great. <laughs> it's like it's like ghetto cosplay or like it's kind of like a budget stunt double level <laughs> of, of a resemblance. <laughs> uh, but uh again there's some uh, yeah there's some things you just got to live with you know going from anime 3D models to realistic ish 3D models and then you have your typical anime proportions going into realistic proportions so it's just like that and the uh somewhat uh, I wouldn't really say like limited character options but it doesn't go far enough with certain variations or whatever or particular hairstyles and like the main thing is the hairstyle because i can i had to find like okay what's the hairstyle that looks the closest <laughs> and <laughs> it feels so silly but it's like hey right, you got you got to use what you got to use and then we'll use them until we get bored and make bargains again <laughs> obviously okay let's go most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead there's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? No pink hair? Uh, no pink hair color, though? Yeah, I had to, like, look for the hair color that was kind of, like, the closest possible, but we... we but, uh, Dogma doesn't provide the, like... 
super vivid anime hair color options. It's only like, you know, more obviously, you know, realistic and it's not like extremely saturated or bright or whatever. I was kind of hoping they let us go wild with the, the hair color and everything, but they kind of keep it within a realistic range of colors that's not like too out there, I guess. Worry not, Vessel. Three days here. And you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. But yeah. So wait. Now hold up. Dogma 1 had dyes that I had to buy from the pawn merchant. Oh shit. Alms. Alms for the less fortunate. Uh. Oh yeah, I can't sprint yet. God, it's so dark. I mean, no dough. We're in like a cavern prison area, but oh my god. No, those are skin dyes, but who knows what this game has. Yeah, hopefully we get to see- Why am I only getting 50 FPS? Uh, okay, okay, here we go, here- Oh, it's actually- actually, it's probably all the NPCs that are in the prison cells that are taking the bravery. <laughs> Only 50 FPS? Hold on. Oh, no, I don't want to dip it down that much. But I like my ambient occlusion, dude. Okay, what are some like other Eh, maybe we can live with that anti-alias thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure contact shadows is a huge thing. That's ah, fine. You wanna stand for pawn slavery? It begins the frame rate. We go with this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, okay. Went from 50 to 56, 60. Okay. Okay. We got this. Wait, do I get to the city? Ah, oh, my system can handle it. No, it won't. Uh, I, I saw the. I just saw the Digital Foundry video earlier, and it was showing issues on. Uh, like stutters and other un inconsistent frames with the Ryzen 5 3600. Guess what CPU I have? The Ryzen 5 3600. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I only very slightly overclocked my CPU, so I don't think it'll do shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, is that the... Oh, shit, wait, was that the the Gorgon that's being suspended up there, like, Monster Hunter style? From when you capture a monster and shit? What do you think you're up to, layabout? Get a move on! Oh, man, 56 frames. 57. Oh, shit. I hasten home. Oh. I've no time for you now. Leave me be. Oh, okay. Let us kill this dude. <laughs> Do your injuries pain you? Pray. It's Rook! Do not overexert yourself. Bro, it's Rook! <laughs> this is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Let's go! Rook 12 years later. Hey, Sankai. How you doing? Oh, oh, now I'm seeing the hitches. Oh, oh, man. Okay, not gonna lie. What is this walk cycle? I thought I fixed this shit. Like, when I was looking at the... In the, the posture options. Oh, this looks... This is a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, well. Time for you to get to work. Uh, 
Rogue gets his freedom via another method. <laughs> I hope he knows how to swim with the brine. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll make the brightness setting uh, a little bit brighter here. Uh, ah, here it is. There we go. So wait, everybody's character has looked like they they run with a stick up their ass. It's weird. Yeah, it's just kind of like. It's kind of like how they have their elbows like jutting out like that. It, it's like an option in the character creation settings for like elbow and knee angles for like how wide they have their elbows like stick out during their walk or run cycle. And also with their knees with like if they keep their knees close together or like farther apart so you have like some Spongebob looking ass like walk cycle. Like You know that one episode in Spongebob? Where the, uh, was it the, no, this wasn't the, the Dutchman, right? No, it was Mr. Krabs. But there was, like, some, like, like, some videotape that someone was looking for. And it was, like, this, like, two, three minute whole deal of, like, SpongeBob doing this, like, some weird walk cycle to some, we like, silly sounding music. And, like, like, that's what the character walk cycle here uh, reminds me of. You're just like you're just like flailing like your arms and elbows out like walking around <laughs> like nobody cares so wait, at least i don't have a ryzen 3700 or 3600 cpu no uh oh wait no like, I, I literally just mentioned i my cpu is a ryzen 5 3600 i just only very slightly overclocked it <laughs> which i don't think is gonna help shit <laughs> Control R. Oh! Oh, just like that? Yo, wait! Oh, wait, you have like... Oh, oh! Trousers of rough fabric. Fuel has plenty of oil. Oh, okay, so you hold control to bring up the sub-menu on the bottom left there. Wait. So B R T G B R T G. Oh, uh, no, that shouldn't be too bad to work with. Although, although, can I just bind that to item shortcut? Oh wait, uh, can I just bind that to my mouse button? Because I think that will work much better instead of having to get my pinky and stop moving. Uh, controls... E... Wait. Oh. Do they not let me rebind my- Oh. You can rebind the fucking controller? What the fuck? Oh, no, no, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, from from what this looked like, it only looks like you had to go through, like, the, the set stuff here. Okay, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, they let you have different... Oh, okay, 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 never mind. And it was here that I learned who the devs actually cared about. <laughs> Fucking rollers! <laughs> they ruin every game! Okay, so where's the, uh... Wait. Oh! I was using my other mouse button! Wait, they actually have it implemented here? I was pressing the other one! The, the one in the back! Wait. Did they have this mapped anywhere else? Change categories? Oh, that's, that's for menus! Oh wait, oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, okay, okay, that, that, okay, that is more thought I, uh, thought that does put into this. Okay. Switch weapon skill... There we go. Huh. Well then, is there something else I can bind my... Hold on. 
even the games with no keyboard support <laughs> like mouse and keyboard suffering it's like bro bro this is a console exclusive <laughs> uh. Okay, hold on. Uh, can I add anything to... Grab, throw... Uh... Mm. Nah, okay, we'll just hold off on it for now, then. Wait, let me see. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Carry the boulder. Okay. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Eh. Eh. <laughs> and that job well done. Now the next step is to. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. What's going on? Oh, God, wait. Actually, let me check something here. Uh, actually, surprisingly. Well, I mean, no, no, it's more CPU intensive than anything, no, never mind. I was like wondering, I was like, wait, is this something weird with my temperature right now? Okay, no. Is it El Dragon? Nope. Also, holy snake tits. No look! What, he wasn't even looking! been awoken you got fell that fiend even at the cost of your lives snakey snakey may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge incoming attacks. Oh shit. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh shit. Wait, I'm tired. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatant. Boulders. Wait, I want to throw that one. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Oh shit. I would recommend oh, oh, I heard a ragdoll. Is it 
creature escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! Ah, quickly! This way, Arisen! Come this way. Let us flee. Okay, if it wasn't for the fact they're being chased, this theme looks pretty cool. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Has longbow if anyone wants to shoot that down. Bird up, bird up. But yeah, dude, I have not maintained a frame rate like at 60 for a while now. It's like a stable, well, unstable ish 50. <laughs> Oh man, I'm dipping the 40 now that we're going into this shot. Oh man. <laughs> Rook over the ocean, this bodes ill. <laughs> so is this Griffin a friend? Oh shit. Nah, no, hold on, I'll do it. Just a friendly griffin. Uh, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> One hell of a shot. <laughs> Actually, no, that's, that's close enough, never mind. He has to improve once the Griffin died. That's kidding. <laughs> Griffin friend is not Griffin dinner. from here, known as a Riftstone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oh, come on, have him gurgle the, the, the again line as he's being dragged underwater. <laughs> no, right. Right. <laughs> no, that, has a, that has to be an in-joke. <laughs> they do what they're doing. Do we not just talk about this? <laughs> they knew what they were doing the with Rook. Appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. We talked about Rook drowning with the brine a few weeks ago. Yeah, just... <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh, we're gonna go back and forth with some settings changes, but... Uh, okay. Actually, I think the easiest solution to do here... Alright. Window... 80. Everything look good? Okay. Gonna have to... Do it like this. Okay, there we go. There's our 60 FPS. Wait. Even using him as a tutorial for both the Brian and Pawn Death? Yeah. <laughs> like, just like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, what, what is going on here? Okay, time out, time out. Let me enhance this. Um. Oh, 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 oh click down the wrong window. Um, what is this? That is some weird, like... Fuzziness going on there. What the fuck? Okay, I think we might have to... Is it- was it anti-aliasing? Oh, uh, it made it a little better. It's only against the water, too. Yeah, hold on. This- now this part, I did not test. Hmm. Actually, I kinda wonder what happens if you... Eh, no, that shouldn't have anything to do with that. What about increasing the image quality here? Uh... Yeah, it has to do something with, like, how... the water is with the character in front of it. Probably lighting. Yeah, probably something with the lighting. Oh, uh, actually, what would it be? So following the technical difficulty stream is more minor technical difficulties. <laughs> Reminds you of the problems Elden Ring has with trees. Uh. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not AA. Actually, what if we take off the water reflection? Uh, I mean, actually, I think that might be that might be it. But I kind of I kind of want my reflective water. I mean, look look at the difference here with the water, bro. Okay, actually, what about mesh quality? No, no, no mesh quality should be like all the other stuff, like the buildings and walls and shit. Yeah, no, no, we have the back. Hold on, figure this out. I don't think texture quality have anything to do with it. Yeah, no, it's something pertaining to... Hmm... Yeah, no, I think there's something weird with the... Yeah, that's whack. Hmm. Probably just turn on grass tree quality a notch. Yeah, probably. Go lower this back down. Hmm. 
Man, that looks jank like in the distance there. Oh man, let's go turn on ray tracing. I was not like that fuzzy look out there. Ah, uh, whatever. I think. Hmm. Oh, actually, actually, hold on. I kind of wonder about this. So, with how? Oh, hold on. What if we have the camera closer? No, okay, okay, so camera distance from character does not change that. And I'd rather just have the camera zoomed out then. So I can just see more. Okay. Hmm. Actually, what about the rendering mode? Nah. Hmm. What if we max this shit out? Nah, it still has that like weird thing when you like... Yeah, there's like little traces of like... Whatever this is called on the water. Hmm. I mean, there's only pertaining to the water. You don't really see it on the ground, but when it comes to the water... Huh, interesting. Hmm, well, okay. A single bolt from a ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sir Linnets from out of Melv. This'll be a right mess to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern round here? Wait, a cap Oh, don't tell me we, had to we can actually come back here for... Oh my god. So a Capcom responded to issues about pe that people are having? Oh, is it the, the Steam... Is it the Steam update thing? Or a Steam message? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're looking into crashes and bug fixes, implementing a new game option, which should have been there in the first place, and the frame rate stuff. <laughs> I love how they have the paid DLC stuff there. <laughs> That's so stupid. Kind of looks like it's generating two instances of each foliage piece. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. Let's get going. Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. Tis said that the arrival. Oh, <laughs> I ran too far. Salubius so draw. Oh, tab is that. Okay, no. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? Jail? Oh, that's how they spell- Oh. There's certainly not like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. Greenwarish. That's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Goblins. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon. If you find your strength lacking, buy the curative or have a bit of green one. When one of the fiends comes to you, best guard and dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Oh, oh my god, we get fast looting. Oh my god, okay, thank god. They kept the goblin screams. Uh... Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. There's a screen warish here. Okay.
God, the run animation looks so jank. So little like loot piles like that, you can see them break apart. You think uh, hold on, I was getting a goblin horn. Calm down. Wait, you see the loot piles breaking piece by piece to know how much more you need to sift through it. Okay, that's cool. So then. Yeah, it breaks apart a little by little to know how much more there is. That's nice. Try not to loot on the go mid combat. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Oh man, I'm dipping the 50 frames the because of all the NPCs. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Oh man, time for my ghetto ass stunt double reen. <laughs> Uh, that's not lower everyone's expectations here. Not gonna look great. <laughs> Although at the very least, I try to replicate the scar on his chest, though. <laughs> uh, it doesn't necessarily look like him at all. <laughs> so we actually just will a pawn into being. Hmm. And yeah, I couldn't find any other moniker to use, so I just like, even though he uses Atachi, but <laughs> fuck it. Uh. And also, uh, th there's not enough namespace to fit in Reen's last name, so I just put in Reen. Otherwise, it, his last name would have just been Schwarz. <laughs> the Seneschal makes more and more sense. And yeah, this, that's like the closest hair I can like find to use on, on him. <laughs> Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. All right, first things first, we need to find Rena Helmet. It is my privilege <laughs> to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. Man, okay, I gotta say, the lip syncing? Looks really weird here. It's like they just keep like their mouth like they just keep like blabbing the mouths like, their lips like open and close instead of like having it even somewhat closely resemble like the words that they're trying to say. Ah, it, it just looks jarring. <laughs> Anime mouth flaps. <laughs> hey Yoshikosh, Coach, how you doing? You truly are the Arisen then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Probably better in Japanese. Uh, I'm not sure. Surely there's only meant to be one arisen. Fine, this is all beyond my ken. Only one arisen? Oh man, have you seen Dragon's Dogma online? The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. 
You're free to do as you like afore then. What? 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 Oh, wait, what's going on with Rain? There's two of them. Oh, is it because of the fire effect that's kind of causing that little distortion thing? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was the, the blurry. Whoa. Whoa. Guess he's never been to the Bitter Black Isle before. Oh, God. Sorry, but are you doing all right? The fire distortion? Yeah, the fire distortion is making, <laughs> making him look so weird. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Mel, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Yo, can I get some new gear at least? I'm only getting 42 FPS. <laughs> Let's see. By touching a riftstone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge, a twi wait, a twixt worlds, where many or where a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they're accompanying you, however, or however, or wait, while they're accompanying you, however. So you may find that you may need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Tell me of Riftstones. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Sounds like Throne of Heroes stuff. <laughs> Tell me of the Arisen. Tis the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. In a way, the Rift Stone's kind of like the Throne of Heroes. Yeah. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Another time. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Every player's pawn is like a hero of their own making. Yeah, something like that. 120 RC. Huh. Oh man, yeah. Okay, okay. So when I look when I look over here, my frame rate instantly goes back up to like 55, 56. The moment I turn over here with more NPCs in view and like the distance there, I immediately go to like 42, 45. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh wait, so how do I Think for Mel. You defeated the goblins. Learn a little of the basics of combat. So we need to go across the water. Oh wait. Oh, we can see little. Oh, okay, so we can follow the road like that across the bridge. Okay. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Ah, oh, so you can get the pre-made pawns stuff here too. Oh, okay. I have nothing further to add. Okay. I hear his actions go beyond their own world, touching many. Can I break this? No. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, I wasn't actually paying attention to the weapon skill here. You wonder how pawn knowledge or learning will be in this game, or if it's in this game? Not sure. Well met. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Wait, where? Going out, are you? 
You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Ah. Uh. What the fuck? Why am I trying to touch the top of a doorway? <laughs> oh, that that just reminds me of all the shit like that happened in like school and stuff and you know when like when the other students would pass through a door and uh, because they felt cool about it they jumped up to try to hit the top of like uh, a doorway or whatever on their way out or in. <laughs> oh my god, what was, what was that going on about? Never should it. I would fain aid you if you are. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress. It's recommended you rest at ends at regular intervals to ensure the reliability of your save data. No. Uh, was that Yoshi Kosh? Read that the date or the game is pretty CPU intensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the the game is very CPU intensive, and my Ryzen 5 3600 is gonna struggle. So, yeah, not much I can do about the lower FPS every time we look at a group of NPCs. There's a ladder here. That's an oil. A ladder. Oh, and a chest. Age scrag of beast. Generally used as a material. Oh. You automatically go up ladders and stuff. If your plane at arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. Oh, oh okay. Actually, wait, uh we like look out or whatever? No. First assess the field. Okay. Then act accordingly. There's no easy thing. I'm making a living. Hoy there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more... Let's see, staying at an inn fully recovers your party's health and stamina, recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and ac accumulates when taking damage. Resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or night. Useful if you want to get out at a particular time. Uh-huh. Okay. To offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. I sleep. I've nothing to report as yet. Was there something you needed, Master? Matters of import. Just go now. Oh. oh. Okay, you can see the exact stats that get raised. Okay. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Sure. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. Sending a priority quest. You can select the quest to prioritize from among those you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge 
of that particular quest. They, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. Oh. Oh, I got bread. Oh, can I pick this up? Yo, scrag a beast. Arspud. I pray my efforts aid your cause. What? Wait, I, I didn't even I even try to talk to you. What the heck? <laughs> uh where do we go? Oh down here. Oh wait, no, where? Uh hold on. Oh yeah, wrong button. Oh, we need to go up north of okay. As soon as my ship's done, I'm off to the tavern. Oh, back to 60 FPS now that none of the NPCs are around. What's over here? Oh. Putting that aside, we've traveled for some time without a mage in our party. Uh. We we just we just got out. Oh, fish. <laughs> we just put it in. <laughs> Holy shit, we just put it in our pocket. <laughs> hey, Seneca. So, wait, is this the right DD2 or the wrong DD2? At the very least, it's DD2. You have my, you, you have my word about that. Was this uh, Grand Grapes? Oh no, just Grapes. Did he wore it? Oh man, it's so nice that you can just gather stuff while running. Oh, that's so nice. A common reward. Frustratingly so. Oh, that's so nice if we could just clutch it like that. Soak to the bone. That's everything assembled. A job well done if I do say so myself. Was I able to get my characters imported? Yeah, I got my characters imported with ease. It's just the... Uh, what was it? Uh, there's a lot of like save file mishaps like... Basically when I did my pre-stream test, I tried deleting my save because there's no way to delete your save or make a new game. But then what's in that save folder are also your pre-made character files which i didn't think would be there so i accidentally deleted that but thankfully i got them back and here we are boy did you need something oh nice we can just this smash is after Sir that Jeffrey, is it let's have a look then fine he wants these as well does he I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my What the fuck? You want me to do your job for you? And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Motherfucker. 
Well, go on. You know what to do. Combining materials. You can combine materials to make a new item. You can choose the materials individually or a combination. Oh, okay. So wait, uh, actually, what's the... Uh, is it like a quick key binding for your weapons and shit? Or for your items? Oh, B. Oh wait, do I have to like, uh... Ah, through here. Oh, wait. The... The beast meat recovers health, not stamina now? Huh. Oh, it even tells you if your pawns are far or close by, uh, or close by you. Oh. So wait. Procure some harspas and salubrious draughts. Well, if that's the case, did they leave the shrooms as they were? Oh, we better be able to scarf down, like, 50 mushrooms to recover our stamina. Tarring arrow? Ah. Well, then, what the heck about the horse buds? What the heck? Oh, wait, hold on. What about the fish? No, it's all health. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Harspud. Oh. Uh. You procured Harspuds and Salubious Draughts. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Ah. Oh. Haven't you anything for me yet? Well, you best get to it then. How the heck do we get horse buds? Hmm. Wait. So we got confirmation on what a horse bud actually is. Lazy shrew. Uh. Wait, no, it shouldn't be that far in, or that far out here. Maybe somewhere a little bit closer. Wait, they have automatic jumping? Oh, I don't know how to feel about that. Wait, so what the heck? Wait, do we have a thing that mentions, uh... Where horse buds are obtained? Hmm. Yeah, where the heck do I find horse buds? Oh! <laughs> right here! Sweet! How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Brilliant! I knew I could count on you. So, a uh, meat rods you need to camp and cook periodically? Yeah. Food and other stuff spoils unless otherwise stated. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. 
They'll be expecting me. Waking powder? We did it. Now what? Report back. I, wait, hold on. I swear, like, why does it feel like the camera's closer than it should be? Didn't I? That, huh. Wait. Oh, no wonder. I was like, wait, why is it automatically adjusting? Okay, there we go. Okay, th that shit was, like, pissing me off. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Let me get that. All right, time to lower my FP. I, I get the door out of my face. Hold up. Boy, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the level three supplied and Sir Jeffrey with one less care. A good deed all right. Three magic, two, three strength, and four. Uh, uh. Stamina. Whoops. Oh, yeah, it's a whole tab. I didn't see that. So then, we just gotta follow the thing south. Wait, and what about... Missionary... The bench? Doze off? Oh, we can skip the time of day. Oh. So without having to rest at the end, you can just sit on a bench to skip to different times of day. A profitable endeavor. Profitable endeavor. I, I, I keep pressing tab by accident. Fancy again, I find well met. What are you selling? Uh, barely any better. I think I'm. Chain mail. Oh. And this one's lighter, but heavier. So chain mail I could look at. Oh wait, that costs so that costs almost everything I got. Ah, heck it out. Sure, I'll buy it. It looks nice. There we go. And... Do we want to sell the Grimoire? Morning Tide combined with other materials. <laughs> well, the meat we got kind of... Uh, Went rotten. <laughs> Always a pleasure. All right, now I just need a proper thing of pants. <laughs> uh. Hey, oh, you a soldier? To be a surprise to see you arrive in one this is piece fine. <laughs> Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area. Perfect, even. We've had to start sending out new recruits to Colden. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. 
who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Mm. I can't handle those beasts on his own. Oh shit, harpies. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. <clears throat> Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. Sure. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with the risk of being able to act in time. This can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. Ooh, okay. Let us do everything in our power to render aid to those in need. Okay. Uh... Oh, and I see hard spuds here. Man, it's, there's like a lot I want to explore, but now uh, we got it. We got to go save someone. What? Oh! Oh shit! Ah shit! There are four commands that the Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions. Their effects vary according to circumstances, in or out of combat. Best way is to get a feel for what each command does and what your pawns do in response. Are you serious? Go instructs pawns to act independently. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. It can also be used to request assistance when carrying out an action, to request guidance to a location, or instruct a pawn to resume guidance that has been previously interrupted. Okay, so go... Spread out or help, or guidance. To me, fight by the arisen side. Okay, okay, I mean, play, simple enough. Wait. Pawns will remain where they are until given a different command. During combat, it directs pawns to stop attacking and focus on aiding the Arisen independently. Oh, uh, okay. And help prioritize support, healing, and recovery. Goblins, master. Oh, oh, oh they execute. Wait, who are you? Oh, oh, you're going for the... Oh shit, you're slept! <laughs> Level up! There I see it. We trounced our foe well and true. Taking a midday nap. Copper ore. Okay. Back. Oh, what? Ah. Uh. Okay. Yep. Yep. There he is. How am I meant to slay the beast if I can't strike them? Get down here. Oh! Oh shit! Who are you? That debilitations are negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to making the target vulnerable to a specific type of attack. They're not exclusive to the arisen of their pawns, but they can be inflicted upon their enemies as well, granting a fierce edge in battle if applied wisely. Asleep. Asleep. Ah, ah, shit. Ah, ah, my back. 
I keep pressing tab to bring up the stupid... Okay. I sleep. Are you all right? I wish I can wake up. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, how do I get to you? Oh shit! I could count upon your strength arisen. Is that all of them? Yeah. You have my thanks. Uh, uh why I am I looking from away from <laughs> those creatures without your help. I'm just staring off in the distance. <laughs> so they never they almost never slept you in the first game? Yeah, you never really get slept that often, aside from like death putting you to sleep in Dogma One. I've only just enlisted. And when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. <laughs> At least face them when he's talking to you. Character's not impressed with them, not worth looking at. Well, oh my god, the disrespect I'm showing. I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. You'd best report back. That's water. What? What? Then I shall remain by your side. To me, Rain. We'll bait. We'll bait it over. Or not. Ah, uh, whatever. So wait, just this guy getting to fights with stronger and stronger enemies. Oh, I hope this is a side quest chain. And we need to bail them out every single time. Until the last time we slays a dragon kid on his own. That is some character progression right there. What is this? Oh! All the hard spuds. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh shit, it's raining. Can't just be us kicking ass. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come, mayhap. Five defense. Well met. Uh. 
<laughs> Wait, bruh. <laughs> My hair. So I just increased by five. Wait, what's the difference between? Nah, technically this is, uh, this is better. And then leg armor. Okay. Copper or always a pleasure. Man, my carry weight is so low, dude. Especially if I pick this shit up. Don't mind if I do. Might you be in need of my skills? Oh, wait. oh we can oh that's another chair for us to sit for us to sit down in. Or on. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And Ooh. if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. We need a thousand to rest in a bit. Oh my god! Wait, can we. Wait, is there a thing for sending? Wait, is there no button to store everything all at once? Like we have multi-selected, which is really nice, actually. But wait, do we really not have a thing for? We don't have like a deposit all in this category tab. No. Huh. Use it to recover a great deal of health. Vocation guild? Okay. So, all manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. Change a vocation. If you have unlocked a vocation, you can change at any time. Unlocking new vocations require discipline, which is accrued when defeating enemies and completing quests. Each vocation trains different skills. You will be able to learn new skills as your rank within your vocation rises. Learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before being used. Augments, special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your vocation of your current vocation. Augments are acquired by spending discipline and are active from the moment they are equipped. You can only equip up to six at once. A broader variety of augments will become available as your vocation rank increases. Okay, so kind of like the same deal. Enkindled blades? Oh, fire daggers! Ooh! Shadow cloak? <laughs> we just cover ourselves with dirt! Blend into surroundings, make it difficult, and then- Oh! Oh, we have an actual backstab thing! Less effective when attacking or dashing. Consume stamina while active. Oh. 
View augments? Oh, we can look at augments. Decrease the likelihood of being targeted. Gratification. Slightly restore health when you land a killing blow. Reduce stamina consumed when struggling in a foe's grip. We need stamina to break out of a grab? Or as we're breaking out of grab? I don't like the sound of that. Reduces stamina consumed when clinging to or pinning down foes. That's fine. Augments your strength. Okay, that, that one's okay. And then with the mage. Magic defense. Increase the amount recovered by curatives and curative magics. Reduce the duration of the debilitations you're afflicted with. You hope they made it less ass in return. Hopefully. Perpetuation. Extends the duration of enchantments and invigorations. Exaltation. Augments your stamina recovery speed. Okay, I think I might need a vocation change. <laughs> we need to get this. <laughs> we need to get this. Bro. No way they have stamina recovery speed within the mage vocation. And archer. Okay, time out. I think, uh, I kind of forgot for a moment when I was looking through the character creator. I kind of forgot, I mean, also the little icons in the shop. I forgot that Thief and Archer are separate. Duh. Well, okay, look, wait, let me see this. Increases damage dealt by attacks when targets are not... Oh, so basically sneak attack. Increases max stam. Your lanterns use less oil and illuminate a wider area. Eh. I mean... Probably better in in this game than Dogma 1, maybe. Increased damage dealt when striking vitals. Enables you to clamber up cliffs and scale foes and other surfaces more quickly. Ah, Now that... Okay, that's interesting. Metal, physical defense, targeting... You enables you to carry additional weight. Oh my god. Allows you to lift up and pin down foes for an extended extended duration. Diligence, hasten recovery when downed or crawling. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Depending on how this how this goes. Oh man. Because, like, I want to get more carry weight. Being able to... What was it? Move more quickly when climbing on foes and other stuff? Because, like, what was it? Because normally on large enemies, like, it feels like... At times, it feels like it takes forever trying to, like, climb up to certain parts of the body to then slash off. So, maybe that could be pretty good here. And then stamina recovery speed, so we don't have to rely on like scarfing down a whole bunch of hard spuds or whatever. Okay. So wait. Uh, core skills. Oh wait, they made Scarlet Kisses a core skill. Oh shit. Oh shit! Wait, no, I'm taking that. Well then. To be fair, would you ever rem remove it? Yeah, <laughs> like it's such a good skill, it might as well just be a core skill so we can make room for other more spe special moves. Better just diffuse it with the weapon itself? Yeah. Oh wait, uh, I forgot to change. Let me see. Green, you don't have much. True Deflect. Oh, sure. Airward slot. Oh, okay. Actually, maybe I should have saved for that. Oh my god, well, that's so good for an anti air. <laughs> Holy shit. Always a pleasure. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. 
Let's see, rift stones, all this stuff. Uh, it is getting a little bit dark. Should I just keep dozing off until later? The passage of time. Time is an ever-flowing river in this world. Activities and behaviors of inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to return, remain in the same place all day long. It may only appear in the morning, night, or midday. To pass the time, you stay at an inn or make use of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. Come nightfall, you will be able to see no, far, no further than the ground at your feet. The onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness at the sunset at your own peril. Make sure you have a lantern in your pack. Some items gathered will change over time, such as by ripening and growing more flavorful. There are also items that, if allowed to age just long enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, however you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular, as consuming anything at, or aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time has passed. Oh! Wait, you can, like, break a bridge? That you can intentionally break a bridge like that? Oh, shit, so, like, if you- let's say you're, on, like, being chased by something, you can just, like, break a bridge? And then... Oh, shit, is that what they're implying? Oh, shit, wait, that's cool. Okay, I know I'm asking for it, but let's see what- Oh, what, what? I just moved the crate on you by accident. Sets my thoughts down dark paths. Wait, uh, how do you view the... I hate this world map. Okay, how bad can it be exploring the night? So like, one of the really early trailers showed that off. Oh. Okay, but how bad can it be exploring out at night? Time for a first death? No, 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 no. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. No way we're gonna di we're gonna die in our first outing at the night. Oh, yo, we high five. Wait, where's the Did that guy? Just fuck off. Wolves hunt at night. Oh man, dude, it's so dark. Holy you shit. Found a material. Uh, I'm stuck in a tree. Oh shit. Hold on. Wait, can I eat items while I'm being attacked? Yes. Strike me if you can. Location rank up. For gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Wait a second. Oh shit, it's Musa. Oh hell yeah. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. 
<laughs> Long quests are a task given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task, must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive the or to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you, to, for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. Given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. Ah, okay. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory, subtracted from your funds. It's possible to trade with another arisen by setting retrievable items you desire as the pawn quest objective. Ah! Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Oh yeah, wait, oh this is a chest that I looted up here. Right. Which path ought we to follow? This calls for due consideration. Due consideration. What are we tarrying for? Onward I say. Onward I say. But oh dog god that hitching. Oh yeah, wait, I should probably give Reen some healing items, huh? I only have one green warish. How about... There we go. Oh, oh, he just uses it like that. Oh shit. Wait. Oh, oh shit! Okay, we do not have magic for that. I could look upon this sky for all eternity if it wasn't for the crick in my neck. Keep gazing upward and you're like to stumble ere long. World's most effective. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. I keep press I keep pressing tab by muscle memory to bring up bring up the item menu. Don't have magic? Nope, no magic. The flame daggers? Uh I would have gotten the flame daggers, but I got Scarlet Kisses instead. So no magic. Although, it seems like we can still hurt it? Guess we know what to grab next. Yep, gotta get a mage. The flame daggers. Oh, right, right, the. Get over here. I believe your foe is drawn to us. You ought to extinguish our lanterns lest we summon it unwittingly. Oh, they're attracted to lanterns? Can't see shit. Stronghold raised by dragon's fire. Oh, 
So, this is Mel. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. In light of the recent spe er, spate of monster attacks, Oxcart service is suspended until further notice. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. That's just what I was thinking. Oh, wait. Huh. On banter. Interesting. Oh. oh, we're fine. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Dudley. Oh, hey, the makeshift uh, jail key. Hmm. 3,000 gold or a dollar. <laughs> Ring of resolution. The wearer is less likely to get knocked down or staggered. Boost strength. But by how much? Uh, how, how much is this going to... I mean, I don't have money for this, but... You know, tell me how much it is! Or how much strength it'll give me. Hope to see you again. Nothing caught your eye? That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. <laughs> Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. They're really... Ah, uh... Man, okay, dude, I I'm interested with, like, the pawn banter that they're showing off here. Huh. Aw, oh, robbed of all memory. Uh, uh, they, they gotta keep interrupting me like this all the time. Like, bro, do it in one long sequence, not... No, oh my god! <laughs> Why couldn't it just be a cutscene the moment I make it through the walls? But it doth not release thee from thy fate. You're gonna get I just started slashing on the back, come on! Seems like the dragon's trying to counter our curse. Hmm. Ah! Ain't gonna do shit! You can parry this.
Oh, singed completely. Oh my god, that burnt face. Oh my god. Oh, is that a heart being taken? Yep. Blech. Nom nom nom. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Finally awake. Never mind. We're <laughs> back back to sleep. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You have my thanks. Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. First intended love interest? Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure how the beloved system might work here, if that's a thing here. I seem to have become arisen. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. People were saying prior to release that... that it isn't? Ah, oh, okay. Oh shit. No. Does he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Huh. Arisen. Man, my frame rates keep spiking up and down, like during this cutscene with different angles. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. The ruler of Vermont. Huh. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Lennart was asking after you as well. Time to go to Grand Soren or the new place. All right, this is this will truly be the test here of how much my performance will go to shit once we... <sighs> Where should we reach the new city? Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. 
Last I saw, he was having a drink. Kick the ox. <laughs> oh no. I say we speak with anyone and everyone who springs to mind. Wake stone shard. Travel together for a day and night. Huh. You will doubtless encounter dozens of people throughout your adventure. Their disposition toward you will vary, but you can increase their affinity for you by treating them kindly, heeding their requests, and giving them gifts. Ah. Grabbing smaller foes in battle. If a smaller foe, or foe is flinching or knock prone, you can pick them up pr by pressing E, or pin them by pressing E while jumping on them. Huh. After picking up an enemy, you can throw them at other enemies or toss them from a height dealing damage. Clinging to larger foes. Hmm. That's the real test, so they give us the ox. Uh... Time the throne had settled. Not that. Oh, had you some business with God the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. What? I, I was not. It was clearly no one else here. Oh, no. You weren't bothering me. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. An apothecary. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village. I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Well, if you need my money, I ain't got shit either. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? Ah, sure. What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit roberunt ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's apothecary. Oh, I made some. Know. You obtained the fruit uh, roberunt. Now I understand. Now I understand. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robber? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Really? Pawn knowledge. Pawn Good knowledge. Thing, sir, I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. Level up. See, don't stumble around in the dark. I'll fit yourself with one of our fine lanterns, but mind how far you stray from home at night, or a night. Lest beasts be drawn to the glow at your hip like moths to a flame. Ah. So, not just the ghost, but monsters in general. Or, I mean, obviously makes sense, but yeah. Equipping a, turning on a lantern during the night basically increases your likelihood of attracting aggro. Okay. Can I check pawn knowledge on the menu screens? Let me see. Pawn badges. Pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and expertise. Whether that be proficiency in combat or, ex uh, or experience exploring, pawns with badges are more helpful to the arisen in word and in deed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of particular type of monster. Such a or such pawns are by are by then so experienced with the creature in question that they'll know the best way to defeat it, and will offer beneficial advice to the arisen. Field badges are awarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display their knowledge of the area by offering beneficial advice. So you also need to camp in certain regions a certain number of times so they raise familiarity. Ah, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Well, basically, we gotta stock up on camping kits. Sounds like they removed knowledge flags. Yeah, it seems like... Mm. This sounds all much better. 
as, as neat as it sounded at, in Dogma 1, getting knowledge from triggering certain things, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass when you don't have the easy means of actually getting it. Like, uh... Like, let's say, perfect blocking and parrying a certain someone, or... Uh, what other obscure knowledge? Oh yeah, with the with the pyre saurians, you put them out and then you reignite them for a knowledge flag. I'm like, bro, <laughs> oh heck off. On one hand, it feels like we lost something, but or feels like we lost something as someone who got full quest and bestiary knowledge. But this is fine. Yeah, I mean. I prefer this kind of stuff being easier than having to suffer through obscure requirements to then have permanent pawn knowledge or AI upgrades regarding certain creatures or whatever. So you just need to defeat a certain amount and camp in particular areas. Okay. Oh, and it has my pawn ID, like, right here. Yo, neat! Specialization? Whether or not this pawn can offer guidance for Questa as a priority. Uh. This pawn's current quest. Travel for a day and. Oh. Oh. Oh, they even show like the full. I mean, they did in Dogma 1 as well, but they show the, the base stats and the total stats just like that. Cool. Drench resist, tar resist. The person's weight affects stamina recovery. Height affects movement speed. Hmm. He recovers gradually over time, but expend too much and fatigue will momentarily paralyze you. Pawns become immobile. Okay. Oh! Oh! You see all of your vocations and... Oh shit, warrior and sorcerer. Oh shit. Slap that pawn ID in the Discord later. <laughs> no problem. Anodyne. <gasps> Wait. I don't know, this is just like a regular magic bolt. It's not like a focused magic bolt. I was like, okay, okay. Flagration? Oh, oh, and you can move all- Oh, shit! Wait, oh, that's cool! Oh. Huh. A stream of flames that you can move around and- Oh, oh bro, hey, that's cool. So, wait. Oh wait, I didn't read this description. Hold up. So followed by successive strike if knocked off ba Oh that's why those like execute moves happened or whatever. Hold down to cling to larger enemies or to pin down a hold? Oh so if they're flinching you hold. Otherwise, you double strike with Twin Fang. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And just the usual there. Onslaught? Onslaught, my ass! Impale. Oh yeah, I like the, the thrust. Follow up with a successful, powerful successive strike if connecting with a foe that's been knocked off balance. Oh, Block. And then... Parry! Or, more well, like, just a regular ass deflect, but... Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, okay. Mighty sm Oh, wait, let me see this. Oh, the anti-air! Okay, so Warrior still has their signature charge moves. And then you have the horizontal sweep. Holding the activation button turns the attack into a charge, and less likely to flinch. Press, 
And then hold or and then there's a holding release for a charge instead. And then you just have the heavy attack like that. Follow up with the successive strike if knocked off. Okay, so a lot of the moves in this so far. There's a lot of Oh! Oh my god! You just impale them and then just like fling them like overhead like that. Oh, oh my god! And then barge. So you just have like the little shoulder tackle and it has armor too. Kind of like uh, the greatsword tackle in Monster Hunter. You have that like little armored tackle of sorts. Neat. And then sorcerer. Galvanize. Recover stamina through single minded focus. You can recover stamina while moving, but with reduced efficacy. Uh, okay. Huh. So, no doubt you're going to be using a lot of stamina, channeling, and using spells as a mage. But then you have the core skill for just recovering your stamina like that. Huh. Oh yeah, wait, uh, I didn't check the thing. Uh, pawn badges. Uh, so we have the pawn badges just all... All right here. Okay, so they don't tell us, like, any requirements or whatever. Hmm, okay. Ooh, chest. Is this stealing? There's a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We There's a ladder. To good use. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Oh, okay. So you can just buy. Oh, modest camping kit. But liable to collapse if attacked by monsters. Huh. Lighting arrow. Throw cutters. Oh, I don't have money for that. Oh, I would like that so much. Oh, we have a better helmet and stuff already. Oh, and there's the cape as well for... Okay, honestly. Wait, these look pretty cool. You know, okay, time out. What the fuck is there jiggle with the armor pieces? I... <laughs> like, if this is like, just plain clothes, whatever. Like, I have chainmail and like, a partly armored part on the left breast for some reason. Why is that jiggling? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Reminder this is a Capcom known for being horny. <laughs> oh, oh god, I don't mind horniness in my games, but. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait. Slightly increases the max amount of weight you can carry. They have rings to increase your carry capacity? Oh! Sweet! I can't afford it. Business could be better, but I'm scraping by. Okay. Oh, I did, I did get a ring from as a reward. Oh, nice. Do come again. Well met, that reads like Dark Souls rings. But it says there's a ladder around here. What am I to do? You really ought to have been. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? You're thinking Demon Souls yourself? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. 
Huh. Specialized training? Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Oh, oh shit. Alright, we're gonna get the tutorial rundown. You know how it goes here. Can you tell me about fighters? It is a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Wow. What about archers? Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. What about mages? It is a vocation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in canting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. All right, what about thieves? It is a vocation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Thieves favor light armor, which leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of other vocations. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. What about other vocations? Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The Meister's Teaching. The Meister's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Meister's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Meister with your abilities. However, the true potential of this skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough. Never for a moment did I doubt you'd grow stronger someday. Hmm. Having said that, tis quite a relief. Level There's up. No discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. Any more banter? Okay, Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Vocation guild? Uh, okay, so no, no. When they say the vocation guild, okay, no, no. no. I thought there's like a thing you have to enter. No, no, no. Wake stone shard. So wait, so for advanced vocations, you have to unlock them through a specific tutor, so that's the reason to talk to all NPCs prior to killing them to get your frames back. <laughs> oh, business, patience is key. Okay, so we got a lot of oh, helm splitter. <gasps> oh. Oh shit, wait. The best dagger skill? Nah, no, nah, no, you know we gotta get this shit. Man. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit awkward for keyboard controls. Powder charge. Wait. Oh! Oh 
shit, wait. We can plant it on- we can plant explosives on large enemies? Oh shit! And the Enkindle Blades? Yeah. Oh shit, wait, that's sick. They buff that skill? Yeah, because before it's just like, you just toss like some explosives in people's face like pocket sand style. But, okay. It, it was always cool, but kind of weak. Yeah. Control, fall. Blah. And then, okay, you basically have your wake up roll. Okay. Augments, subtlety, decrease likelihood of being targeted. Eh, it's kind of whatever. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot Reen. Uh, yeah, you know, shield summon? Oh, it's the... Oh, they even have, like, a little shockwave to, like represent that you're trying to attract the attention okay wait no, we need airward slash we need like an anti-air tusk top wait oh wait they made that a core skill i use this shit all the time when i use my mystic knight because it was just so good <laughs> well, i had multiple hits to it the scaling seemed nice and it hit, like, at a good, like, down and upward angle overall. So you can hit, like, down enemies and slightly skyward enemies with ease. Uh Physical defense. Okay. Lots of buff skills? Yeah. Good that they're buffing the weakest skills, like, Tuss Toss. Ah. I need to rest with oh my god, that's so expensive. Do come again. Dude, no fuck resting at ends. Holy shit. These writings could be of import. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, tis a vacation for the I am a fighter myself. And very well. There is no but I shan't take up any more of your I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. Oh yeah, just let me, just let me steal everything. I'm sure. Oh! Noon bloom. Huh. Ah, uh, do you need a rest at- So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. <laughs> Was scripted? Let's say we gather some information. Can't say I have any tidings to share. Didn't you hear me? The watchhead's waiting. Okay, fine, fine. Gosh. Treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Okay, actually, hold on. Uh, controls. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, right, right. We can set particular things for. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have straight up hotkeys for. Recovering our HP or stamina without having to go to the mint. Oh. Huh. Okay, time out. Hmm. How about we try something else? Can I use my numpad? You can bind the numpad? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Bro! Oh, wait, oh, oh, they show the... They show the, uh, buttons you're available to put down. Wait. Oh. So certain ones like commas, periods, and like other stuff, they don't let you. Or escape. Oh, uh, okay, okay. 
You know, I, I, okay, let me change this. Wait, where else are they using minimize, maximize menu? Okay, that's whatever. Wait, uh, what's I? IJKL for moving the camera on keyboard? What the fuck? Nah, clear those binds. I don't think we need to move the camera on keyboard. Okay, item menu, press. Wait. Oh. We can't... Wait, what? We can't remove the... The binding? I can't just, like... I can't just bind a weapon skill with just one button? Why not? Uh, okay, that seems concerning. Okay, hold on. Six, four... Okay, that, that might be a bit annoying for me to reach, with, like, with my hand. Oh, shit. Control R for... Lantern. Eh, okay, that one I'm fine with, but okay. Shield direction. Okay, no, this one I'm kind of interested about, but we'd have to be playing a, a fighter. Ascend or descend as a spirit? Back. Changes cannot be applied due to duplicate or whatever. Wait, oh, you- we have to implement this? What the heck? Okay, fine. I'll just slap this right here because I'm not going to press these buttons then. Huh. Patient action. Uh, any other things I can change with the keys to make it more comfortable? I'm kind of shocked that... They don't just let you instantly use the weapon skills, like, straight up, like, by just individually binding them without a modifier key. Huh. Okay, hold on. I'm, not... okay. I'm gonna go switch the key back to the upper mouse button here. Hello. Oh, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Uh... I'm ready. Then let us be on our way. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall I bring the boats? We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Focus. Battle continues. Oh, I like that. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement.
Wait, all his loot back there? Ah, whatever. I'll turn you into a pinkerton! You know, I don't like how they keep zooming in the camera mid-combat like this. Like, it gets... Like, I want to be able to see around myself without getting automatic tunnel vision. The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Yeah, and it like slowly zooms back out outside of combat, but is there any way to change that? Because that's... Eh. No! So it's like a des design decision to... Yeah, wait. Also, wait. Minimap rotation? I'll get the shit out of here. Hmm. Also, let me go make the dialogue a little bit louder. Oh, we can just, like, save and continue? Wait. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet, not all claims are true. Oh. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. They're still given a wonder. Okay, wait for those. Stand still. Well not to invite my ah, no, I got slept mid air. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Executed. Oh, oh, Reen's throwing the boulder. Ah, ah, ah shit. Wait, oh, I figured I saw an uh, NPC by accident. Uh, dude, what is with the camera, like, jumping around like that? Oh my god. It's like it's colliding with the NPCs or whatever. This is an obstacle I'd sooner be rid of. I'm ready to attack, Master. My tide here is Another statue. Walk within me yearns to kill. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Oh shit. Huh. Oh. What is this? What a view. Asper. I'd not say no to a short repose. There's a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secrets to the patient observer. Hereabouts? We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. That's just what I was thinking. Hmm. Is there a setting for a cinematic camera? Oh, do you mean like a photo mode? Oh yeah! Actually, speaking of, we should probably try that. Uh, how do you... <laughs> Upside down. Wee. <laughs> oh wait, uh, oh for the camera getting weird in combat? Oh, oh, that. I don't think so. Oh, right, the stupid Vignette or whatever. Huh. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of. Oh, we, we can... are none of us alike in vocation. 
That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Huh. And they have... They even have comments about your... Uh... Your party composition. Interesting. Haha! <laughs> I could do this all day! Forgotten Rift Stones. Oh! If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. Huh. Sure. Twill be an honor to serve by your side. Hey, I tried getting that tutorial, it didn't pop up. So Forgotten Rift Stones can be found in various locations. So one of the two events will occur. The Rift Stone will be restored. You'll be able to restore use the restored Rift Stone to summon a pawn or unique pawns of a different nature to those that can be summoned in town. A high level pawn can be summoned. After which the Rift Stone will disappear. You'll be able to hire this pawn without paying Rift Stones. Oh. You like how much emotion, how much more emotion they get in this game? Yeah. What might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Wait. Wait, what what are they talking about? Wait. Best to proceed with what? Hold on. I'm kind of spending a lot of time right now, but wait, what are they you talking watch about? Where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Oh, oh, it was a ch oh, it was a chest right there. Oh. Oh, okay. So now we know. Fa okay, fall damage is a lot more deadly now. Holy shit! Ring of cooling. God damn, I keep pressing tab for the item menu. Uh... Produce damage from fire. Oh, what's this? Putrid gold tooth. Oh, isn't that a zombie thing? Oh, that was a ladder. There's a ladder here. Oh, uh, hello. Me. I'll gladly take on any number of foes. We must focus on finding victory, whatever our It's easily done. Oh, no, I've got the camera. Do let me know if you are in need of aid. Oh, can I open this? Thank you. Ooh, wake stone shard. Oh. Wait, is this a... Uh, is this an actual crawl space? Wait, oh, 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 the camera. 
No, I guess we. Oh, they, so they can just see outside here then. Do let me know if you are in need of aid. So wait, if we go into the map, search. No. Okay, the way we climb up ladders super fast, that looks super funny. Oh, there's the, the ripstone right there. Uh, where are we supposed to go again? Oh no, we're going the wrong way, right? Let me get that. Okay, I guess we're getting back on track here. Good. Let us make for the capital. Profitable endeavor. Oh my god, he's just destroying the crates. Okay, so swift stepping stops your regen. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Oh, is it? Oh, they pointed out the chest in the distance. Oh. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Are we going to be attacked? Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen. By all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? A pretender. I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Ingredients are plenty hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. <laughs> no harm in picking a few. Boot goblins, a lot of you. So tired. Just what? An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Oh, the fuck was that guy drawing his weapon on me? Wait, chest. This is time to kick an ox. Oh no. Hi. Someone saw fit to camp here, it would seem. I'm in no need of arrest as yet, Master. A modest camping kit. Ah, oh, no, we'll hold.
god, I swear, like, this jogging animations, like, or the sprinting animation looks so weird. Maybe I needed to... Master, it would be prudent to rid yourself of any excess... I'm not that heavy! Oh, 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 oh. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. This is really Rampage slashing. Must have weakened the earth here. <laughs> I just killed a wildlife mid combo. You were thinking when you saw me going up a hill, but is the walk animation the way it is for rough terrain? I it don't. Is a pleasure to meet you. Oh my god! I I didn't even try to talk with you. No, I don't want to hire you. Wait, why does it automatically make us talk to Pop? I didn't even press the F key to talk or hail them. Well, what the fuck? I just trying to walk. Like to find out what's inside. We've got goblins! I grab your weapon and magical boom. At the very least, the, the early vocation ranks seem pretty, seem pretty uh, easy to get. No duh, but okay. How could I have forestalled this? I am now very heavy. Oh my god, my stamina. Okay. There we go. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! The weight is on the road ahead. Trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Can I cut this down? Nah. 
<laughs> That'd be kind of cool. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure oh, we'll shit. find a purpose for it. I do. Oh my god, the fall height. Are you serious? Because, like, normally we'd be able to slide down like that. Gravity. <laughs> First death. Like. I guess they only make you slide down designated spots essentially now. Because, like, normally if you try to hug the like slope like that even if it doesn't look like it's a thing you can slide down on like normally it would but it's only like smooth looking inclines on rough terrain that you can slide upon well, that sucks Goblins, are we all in the same boat i knew that i could count upon your strength arisen A gold beetle? Oh, oh shit. I'll save you. Go where you're going. Oh. Well Let my magic grant to an elemental that, 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 shit. I'll turn you into a pincushion. Number is unconscious. Ah, uh, no, wake up. Ow. The lost gauge. When you take damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but maximum health you can cover reduced also. Yeah. Your maximum health will remain reduced even after you're using. Get rid of magic or items, rest at an inn or campsite. I shudder to imagine what would happen if we all nodded off. I'm nodding off where I stand. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. But oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. You got a go bar from you, Baha? Yo, a nice price. Can I have a. Seems like everyone around me is getting gold bars like it's nothing. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Oh, fancy chest. The find of the century, I dare say. Ooh. Wonder whether. My master from beyond the you consider your reward for hitting that. rank 225? No. <laughs> okay, I swear to god, that height was enough to kill me, I swear to god, dude. Uh... Oh, another chest. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials, the creature's corpse will serve us well. 
I look forward to seeing your marksman. Oh, oh, shooting crows. I don't think there's anything here. I don't, I don't want to risk taking fall damage again. All right, onwards. Okay, now we we need to make we need a camp here. <laughs> like, oh my god, I need to recover my health so badly. Uh, set spots. Sell them. Return to town. Keep a camping kit. Grill meat. Certain boosts the stats upon consumption. Fire the quality greater the increase. Be prudent to eliminate foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so heightens the chance of ambush. Staring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? So Tales of Akra Macfest combo pretty good for rank point farming? Oh yeah. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle. We are none of us alike in Voki. Okay. Pray do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. You there. This place makes my hair. Should trouble occur, a quiet day is a welcome one. Okay, let us cook. Oh my god, dude. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover Holy and we food continue porn. our journey. Bro, I was expecting like a close up with such a high quality to it. God damn. Should you wish to pick your foes Why do you farm, automatically talk? You look no further than an archer such as I. No! Like, why do pawns automatically engage in conversation? I'm not even pressing talk with them. Bro. What's this? We're trapped. Oh. You know how it's like to talk to a salesperson on commission? <laughs> I, a cyclops. To think we'd encounter one here of all places. Oh, oh, oh just through that. A cyclops. Great. Right. Beyond half bow has been thrown off balance. Now let us finish this. Grabbing larger foes in battle, press E, hold of an enemy. You can push or pull them to draw the focus and knock them off balance. Bring the feet down. Strike fast. Now quarry shall fall. Oh, it's a song. Oh, oh shit. That's ours. I brought your weapon a magical food. Uh. Yeah. Oi, are we not a... Yeah, dude, it's so hard to like climb along uh, large enemies. I, you need that augment. Like, I've been trying to hold the button to like move my. Or, I was trying to like move along the back, but oh shit! Oh my god, get up! Why are you taking so long to get up? 
inform the people of Rome that the Arisen is... You have my gratitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false Arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Ox cart? Well now. The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. Environmental effects? A powerful current. Okay, so we can just claim our loot like that. Oh, we can still climb on the, the body af uh, after the fight like this. <laughs> we can still slash on it too. Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Oh. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind. Oh, the convenient explosive barrel. One reason I served had many a visitor. And really the same one. Look here. Oh, oh he can target through the cracks. Oh. Bow down, shit. God, that water looked really weird. Oh, oh, it washed the Cyclops body down there. Wait, ox car. I've got a good feeling about this one. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? So, I was actually meant to do that during the fight? Oh. Uh, company, though. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. But yeah, we ended up stumbling the, the Cyclops early. So we kind of like avoided me be doing the one that. To collect it. See it. Oh, is no one else coming with me? Oh, I think you sit a while, then it forces the... Oh, so does it automatically skip that? Oh, wait. Oh, you can doze off and then... Oh, wait, wait. So you just have the cinematic view of... Of this? Wait, hold, hold on. What if I don't doze off? Oh, uh, so it's just... Okay, okay, so it's like... <laughs> we can just wait it out here. Okay. Asleep. What the frick? Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. We've got goblins! You have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. I grant you roaring flame! I can do no less in service to the Arisen. Not bad, I do. Rally! Reinforcements have come to aid our foe! Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Sure. All right. Into the ox cart then. The ingredients. Swear to God. Swear to God. There's Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Uh, I'm sure there is, but I was gonna go sleep on the cart. 
Oh, oh, oh shit, the following morning. <laughs> the game is working. The game's working. And now it's gonna crash because we're gonna get into the city with all the NPCs. Let's go! Alright. The true test. Will my frames... Will my frames tank? Remember to save. Oh, oh yeah, I need to manually save. Shit. Well, we're about to see how this holds up outside of the cutscene. Because we're still in cinematic mode. He may have said that at the wrong time. Oh. Is that dude from the prologue? Or from the intro scene? I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual... Oh, dude, I'm at 42 FPS. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. Have you seen Dogma Online? That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. Is a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. Damn. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting 48 FPS in here. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh yeah, because during the intro, the previous sovereign ended up just collapsing. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. If the Queen Regent learned of your existence, your life would have been in uh -huh. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Yeah, enough of this farce now. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Ah. Uh. So, was that really just us in the intro that collapsed? Because, you know, it was in first person and we never saw our face. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Ah. Uh -huh. Vernworth Palace a few months prior. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. Ah. Oh. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To D, sir, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, D, sir chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Uh -huh. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. So I'm gonna need you to leave, get strong, and come back and kick her off the throne? <laughs> I should uh. buy some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Ah. Level 9. Okay, hold on. Let me make a save. Okay. 
Speak with them in the tavern at night. Regarding the oath, both Vermund and Batal regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Huh. Oh god, okay. Just in this- Hello? Visit the tavern at night, if you- Okay. I'm getting 50 to 45 FPS, and we're not even leaving the room yet. Oh, oh god! Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Concern it! Get back here! Did you just pickpocket me? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Sure. Uh... <laughs> Couldn't have been the last game. The truth has set you free. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you're not to run into me. Decline to help the young man flee the guard. Well. Oh my god. I'm, oh, oh, I'm down to 30 frames. Oh, dear god. <laughs> it's as bad as everyone says. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, you know what must be done. <laughs> oh. Oh, if you unsheathe your weapon. Everyone, all the guards become wary of you. Oh, shit. True console experience. Oh, okay, so you do not want to just... Oh, you can wait for the ox cart? Okay. You love that some of them have spears? Dude, Elder Scrolls could never... Oh, wait, can we do something here? Can we pet it? We feed it? No? Holy shit, it's huge! Oh my god. Can't even kick the ox? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? What? Where? Where do you see it? Wait. Where the fuck do you see a treasure chest? But yeah, holy shit, I'm struggling to get above 40 FPS. Oh, I have money. Oh, that you saw it through here? I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Oh, but if you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Huh. Indeed. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command. Shift in the chain of command. Oh, there's the treasure chest icon down there. Okay. Okay, so it seems like the threshold for taking fall damage is just above, like, one story. So if you try to jump down from a two-story height or even a story and a half or whatever, you're, you're gonna... Alright, you're gonna splat. Oh, the frame rate. Oh, God. Ah, excellent find. Oh, yeah, dude. This is what everyone's complaining about. Oh. This isn't. I've assembled the finest way. Oh. The finest wares.
is there not being done to Four out of ten game. Like honestly, this really is really really bad with the performance. Like there's no reason for it, even if it is like, even if the graphical quality is like pretty high and everything, there's no reason for the frame rates to tank this much within a city. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh wait, are you talking about the ox thing? Oh, oh, I didn't see the timestamp. <laughs> but yes, the performance is an issue. Yeah, and I assume we're going to be spending a lot of time within the city and everything. Alas. So it's just like... It would seem I've taken on too much. Ooh, fine, Lessening bro. Our will help to keep us light on our feet. Oh, it's like someone's house. My bad. I need to find a place to rest. Holy shit. Oh, this hurts to look at. One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Ish. We are drenched. So, this debilitation does not inflict damage. It occurs when you get doused in water. If you fall in a river, get soaked by the rain. Does not, er, while being drenched does prevent you from being tarred and reduces damage from fire, it means that electric or lightning attacks will leave you benumbed, and ice attacks will, leave, will make you icebound. Oh, huh. How, how are my attempts? Uh, let me see. Uh, so for the past however long, it's been 65 degrees Celsius on average. And power consumption? Like, at most, it spiked up to 255 earlier walking around town. But, yeah, like, it, it just goes to show that this is a crazy CPU-based issue. Because I have a... I have a 3080. So, it should not be holding back my performance. And it's me needing a stronger CPU, that and the game needs to be more hacking optimized. Because there's something about all the NPCs that that the game has to keep now processing a worthy prize. that is causing all of the uh, performance chugging and everything. So wait, there are some divinity-like interactions with the elements there. Not sure Dogma was like that. Also Genshin. <laughs> I mean, Dragon's Dogma 1 had uh, stuff like that, like, if an enemy is drenched with water, use lightning to do more damage. If an enemy is tarred or covered in oil, you can explode them by using fire. And I wasn't- I'm not sure about the- the drench thing with ice, but yeah, you can- you can freeze, like, uh, enemies and stuff with enough ice spells and if they're weak enough to it so wait ice is also better if the enemy was what you can freeze them oh okay so it did work like that in dogma one because like, i never uh intentionally try to apply freeze to enemies like that oh, i can't jump on the wait what oh oh the crate fell through the fell through the ground Sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. you can't even go in here. It was helpful for getting the Banshee Knowledge Flag for freezing them. All too easy to kill them before freezing them, though. Ah. Uh... Oh, oh, I see a barber.
Or wait. Oh, wrong room. Business could be better. Maybe it was like the other side here. Oh, I was on the upper part here. Do stop and have a look. Am I sure? Have wares of every welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. What? You need how much to change hair, makeup, and oh my god! Would that I was kept half as busy as I once was. Much obliged, sir. Do stop and have a look. I've wares of every ill. Oh, oh, God, the 30 frames. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Bro, oh, 25 frames. Oh, my God. Big ripstone. Oh, oh, that's a cool transition. Farron. Oh, so I'm trying to make Farron from <laughs> free run. Oh, you can just leave the roof like that? Oh. Imagine the pawn you can make with that thing. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is, when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar Jumbo illness pawn. that imperils the lives of those around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable, but in time we become so unruly that even the Arisen holds no sway over us. Uh. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful, lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Go on, have a look. So wait, there was a thing we were shown. Oh wait, the illness she was mentioning. There's a thing we we're shown prior to release. Huh. Golds made to be. Sp Incense to change inclination and a voice to match. Metamorphosis. Edit the appearance for the arisen or the pawn. One time use a Barbie. Barbary, I mean to <laughs> Barbie. Yeah, wait, no, isn't this, uh, isn't this one of the microtransactions? Bro, you just buy this shit for 500 Rift Crystals. We have glasses. Ah. Oh. Bent. Pleasure doing business. So, wait, a, a dragon with bulging boils? You're thinking the story is not going to end with us finding the dragon? Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Hmm. Not sure. Oh god, oh god, my frames. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Holy shit, this is bad. Welcome to Bjorn's armor and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check Let's see, equipment enhancement. If you have the requisite materials to hand, you can er, you can enhance your equipment at any shop equipped with a forge. Consider enhancing your equipment according to level and fighting style. Styles of smithing. There are several styles of smithing used in enhancement, and each one produces a different result, such as a moderate all-around improvement or significant increase to magic or might. Choose the style that is most compatible with your preferred equipment and approach to combat. Huh. Weight carried and strength. Huh. Uh. Definitely gonna hold off until we go check for sure. Oh, we only have, uh... Ah. Uh, unseen Shadow. Oh, okay. Hunter mail. Ranger. 
Oh, wait. This, this looks cool. Oh. Scale jacket. Oh, it's like a little heavier, but Thief and Warrior specific. Oh, huh. So wait. So if you have a preference for magic or melee as a mystic spear hand, you can spec your gear for it? Oh. Same for Wayfarer? Huh, I'm gonna have to save up some money for for this. Huh. Voyager's Cape. Science Resistance? General's Mantle. I do like the cloaks. Huh. And then rings. Maximum carry weight. But Dragon Forging will probably just max everything out. <laughs> I wonder how Dragon Forging will work here. Rio Fashion's Dogma Hours. Hope to see you again. Okay, we're definitely just gonna. Oh, oh god. But yeah. Okay, let's go talk to. Uh, I forgot his name already, but let's go continue the main quest for now. We'll go upgrade our. Ah, oh, my friends! We'll go do shopping later. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray. Allow me to summarize them for you. Tell me of monster culling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. <laughs> what say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Very well. I would not think to press you on this matter. The worm hunt quest, basically. Yeah, pretty much. A different task, then. What about the queen regent? You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. Uh -huh. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels of Fornell, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself? But my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Very well. I would not. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Waldar. Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, 
He now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Ah. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, the guy on the right side of our screen here is like looking at us talk. <laughs> Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? Very well. I would not do not forget that we work to serve. It. Hmm. Hey, can I? Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? <laughs> buy, buy a round or pass the time. Oh shit. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of the. Uh. Oh my god, so many NPCs. Like 30 frames. Okay, let's do monster calling. There's much we ought to tend the citizenry. What say you? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Goblins! Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Saurians? Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. There is no shortage of beasts that need culling in this world. We ought take the time to evaluate our fighting strength and equipment before setting out. I presume I've caught your eye. So wait. Buying around will make people like you, which would... Which they said would come... Come in handy for quests? You know what? Sure. So wait, let me see. Welcome to the... We serve all manner of fine ales here. Around for everyone. Wonderful. Or just me. Oh no. Bye for everyone. Yeah. Seems I've caught someone red. Welcome to the We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you? Okay, that's the time. Come back any time. Still dark outside. Uh it's starting to be morning. Oh, frame rate. This might be worth a read. Say, well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat day after day, only to be returned to shore by the brine again and again. Ah. Oh. As if that wasn't queer enough, he's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes lies beyond the sea. A world that lies beyond the sea? I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose losing his family must have driven him to madness. Huh. The rumors. I've heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. See, there's an oracle up in the palace whose powers allow her to divine whether the arisen yet lives. Is this, is he talking about Bitter Black Isle? I don't know. So no matter how many pretenders come forth, the oracle can see through their lies. Although, come to think of it, is that really proof? Does the Oracle know who the Arisen is? Or only that they exist? God, dude. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Wait. Where? Dude, 24 FPS, holy shit. Oh my god. They want us to go up there? Or... Oh, no, oh my god. Oh, dude, this hurts so much. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Oh. I thought so. 
She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Welcome and well met. Ornate box. An intricate curio sold by a merchant who deals in trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment? Sure. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'm always a pleasure. Uh, okay, so what's this about? Something small can be stored. Ah. Huh. Because I just keep it around then. Oh. Estates. Slums. Tavern. Ox car. Oh. Now this is a conundrum. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. So wrong. Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. Monsters. One found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled afore the thing was cold. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune. Oh. But mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. Ah, uh, so supposedly monsters can break. Monsters can break in during the night. Maybe? Ooh, treasure chest. Throw cutters. Hey! I didn't even need to buy it. Okay, where can I find an actual inn to store my shit? Opening locked doors. There are locked doors. So wait, there are some doors that can be interacted with, not by not open by keys and mechanisms. Matter of a time, I think of time of day. Progress to a certain point. Take note of any intriguing doors you encounter and try revisiting them. Ah. Hello. My head hurts just thinking about it. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Give food. Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Wait. We have found a material. Wait, what are they found? What I'm the sure heck? We'll find a purpose for it in due time. Wait, what did we just stumble upon? What the heck? Huh. Sounds too bright for these poor eyes. 
Oh, we have to slide off the roof. Rotten meat. If our prayers are not heeded, what hope have we? I know so little of this world and of myself. This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. What is down here? Ooh, potion. Casually strolling up and picking people's plants and robbing them of their money. Me? I'm just going for a stroll. Ah. Oh. Wait. That's a chest. Already existed to the arisen. I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. And uh, okay, where can we properly rest or store a shit? I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. <laughs> ah, Burnworth. Is there any place more welcoming? We are not truly safe even here. Remain alert till we are within the city proper. Is as you say. I've brought you a gift. What? Will you accept uh, uh, it? Oh, uh, uh, nice camera. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired f acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently. This can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove to be useful while we're trying out. If you would like your pawn to befriend or uh, to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. A pawn can acquire one specialization at a time. Learning a new one will replace the old one. Consult each specialization entry for more information. Oh, what the heck? Allow way specialization allowing them to use curatives on the arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Oh, ah, sure. Oh, got an achievement for that. Nice. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, excellent find. Ladder. Wait, what ladder? Wait, where the fuck are they? Like, over here? Oh, 
You wonder how we find rusted weapons in this game? Not sure. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? I'm always willing to lend a hand. Places such as this are real treasures. Oh, the chest up there. Wait, then how the heck? Oh, the ladder's right there, but then how do you get to that in the first place? Okay, time out. So, where the heck do I go to actually rest? Or not rest, but like store my stuff. Because we only have, like, the taverns right here, but we don't have... Oh! Uh... Is this it? Because I need to store my stuff. Oh my god, it's stairs. Oh! Uh... Well met! You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveller. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Okay. Stability. Wait. I'm going to learn from Tasha to stairs. <laughs> so wait, a rare beetle, consuming it increases the weight you carry by 0.15 kg. The main pond of reason can also receive the same- Oh! We had to eat the gold beetles to carry more? Eat the bug. Protective charm. I'll eat it soon. Let me go store all this stuff away. Bro. Oh my god, my carry capacity is like... Oh, oh I didn't mean to deposit that. Right, Spud? Great deal of health. Great deal of stamina. Ah. Uh. Exquisite? Hmm. Quenching. Cure caught fire and torched. Oh? Okay. Much obliged. Okay, we need to eat the bug. You can now carry an additional 15 kilograms. Or 0. 0.15 there is one. kilograms. God, it stares, dude. Oh, I'm so reluctant to actually rest because it costs so much money, dude. I feel so spoiled from from Dogma 1 letting you go back to Casardus and rest for 50 gold. 
Meanwhile here, ooh lord. Meanwhile here it's like 1,000, 2,000 and I'm just like, bro, it's so expensive. Driver's day book. We need to figure out how to make money. Yeah, because I don't want to rest too... I don't want to rest too often if we can't find a way to actually make money. That's like what I'm concerned about. Otherwise, we're just going to have to camp outside. Yeah. So the other day, I arrived at the border checkpoint only to realize I left my entry permit back at the inn. Ended up having to make the trip back, so I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use a, a Beastron mask. Seems... Seems Batal favors its Beastron residents, so they can get through without the hassle of a permit. Might be worth keeping a disguise to hand just in case. Aww. A disguise? A bundle of flowers. I'm glad I found that. Hey, a camping kit. But yeah, what the heck? Oh, oh, oh! What do you mean there was a hole there? What the fuck? Bro, how far back am I do I have to go? Because we were like wandering around for... Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? Why was there a gap over the, on the scaffolding? Oh, thank god. The rules at your leg. Oh. What does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Bro. Well, at least the autosave is generous. Holy shit. Uh, uh, hello? Oh, oh, I'm present. <laughs> uh, my hand's on, like, the wrong side of the keyboard. I, I, I keep pressing F to try to climb on. Uh. Hmm. Oh, so... Oh, 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 if you don't keep up the momentum, you're gonna slide. Oh. Or not? Oh, wait, no. Wait, okay, this is gonna be so... Okay, wait, so then... Uh, okay. I could use a bit of peace and quiet. Actually, if we sit down, does it- do we recover? This calls for a curative. No, don't use a curative on- god damn it. Well met! You are come- you will soon forget the fatigue of a- Commerce is the domain of clever minds. When offered as a gift, deepens the bond between giver and receiver with the flowers. Oh. That was an impressive first death. No, we had our first death earlier from gravity yet again. But bro, why why is there a gap in the middle of the scaffolding like that? Oh my god. Also, it does feel a little annoying that we can't just like run across rooftops like in like in Dogma 1. Like Unless they deliberately make the rooftops flat, they do not want you parkouring on rooftops anymore, which I'm kind of sad about. Much obliged. This inspires more. That looks promising. 
Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Wait, where? Wait, where is this? The rooftops were a nice touch in Dogma 1. Yeah, I really liked... Wait, was it... Tell is. Vermond was once a bistron kingdom. Mm, fascinating. Indeed. Though it is not widely known among the common folk. Wait. Oh shit, oh shit. Wait, no, don't, don't go down the ladder. Not generous with fall damage. They really they like what was it? Like they're way more punishing with fall damage in Dogma 2 compared to 1. The root tops help make the town's feel special compared to most games. Yeah, I, I like being able to to traverse everywhere just by running on the rooftops and stuff, but oh my god. What to do? But yeah, we're still going to be in town exploration mode for a while because I really want to get a feel for oh, for everything this? around here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Uh, let's see. Wait, is the exclamation mark like? Say, have you been to? Well, if you do visit, I hear. He sets out to see as if that wasn't queer enough. I cannot fathom his obsession. Oh, is that like uh as far as like information about intrigue or something? I've all manner of arms for sale. Throw cutters. Oh, stiletto. Oh, we got something even better here. Man, I just got this upgrade. Hey, anchor to heaven. Eh, fuck it, we'll buy it. The spoke bow? Oh, shit. Blast arrows? Wait. Oh, shit, wait, you're right. Wait. Oh, wait, no, not, not in the way we're thinking. Adheres to the target and explodes after a time or if attacked. They nerfed it. Yeah, they nerfed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fair. Blast arrows are excessively overpowered. Not even death can survive. Come, how do you? Ah. We now like look at what drops this. Have a look. Uh, yeah, go. Nah, we'll go store that actually. Tis most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to. Not enough money for this. I really want to get the Ranger's vest. Survive. Oh, uh, they don't even let us have the. Uh... Oh, we don't even have the option to sell directly from our storage. What? Oh come on, that that was such a nice quality of life feature in Dogma One. What? No way. So now we have to haul ass back to the inn, take stuff out that we want to sell, and then... Oh, we have to go back and forth like that? So if all you check the price, just remember, hope to see you again. Oh, man. Really? So we have to go through... all that hassle to sell... to sell shit. 
at your leisure. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when tree. Do we see the cell value of the stuff? No, we're not allowed to see the cell value. You know what? I think I'll sell the tomes. Superior criteria? Wait, why don't I get a superior? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, this is the pre order DLC bullshit. Oh. Uh. You, you really like have only that much more in terms of. Uh. Yeah, that's like barely even worth shit. Treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Actually, no, can I, wait, wait, no, can I sell that? I don't mind selling the DLC shit. Yeah, no, I'll go sell this shit. Much and then they're and then they're only worth like ten gold or some shit because they don't want you to like sell the DLC shit. Oh, bro, if it's actually like that, I'm gonna be a little pissed. Pray slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us <laughs> endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. <laughs> we are less fleet of foot. Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. People did sell DLC stuff so in Dongle for quest. challenge runs. Mmm. Oh, uh, yeah, they're worth something. Yeah, sure. Remember. Misers die. Sorry, in scale. Early deaths. And everything's too expensive. Okay. Hope to see you again. God, really, really is the console experience only having thirty FPS. Honestly, I kind of like this outfit. Okay, maybe not the, you know, the mask and everything, but... Well, met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality. Okay. Uh, what can we make? Cinnamon? Huh. Mighty. Oh. A great deal of health and stamina. Great deal of health. All Vernworth. Let's see. Dried flower. Oh, do things actually expire inside your... Inside storage now? Oh, you can't, you can't preserve stuff forever anymore? Because I don't remember depositing any dried flowers within... Oh, no. Oh, no! You... Bro! Dude, wait, no, that's terrible! All of your shit rots in storage! So you have to craft everything or else you'll lose it. Oh no, dude, that's gonna be a huge ass hassle. Oh no.
You know where to find. Oh wait, right. I need to. Chest. I'll examine its contents, shall I? Oh wait, there's a chest inside there. Oh. Foot soldier armor. Actually, yeah, that's the. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost. Hospitality. We need a camping kit, don't we? Yeah. In all Vernworth, much obliged. Huh. All right. So where do we have to go? Oh. Okay. There's a lot to explore just in this immediate area. We gotta go through all three of these locations for monster calling. Oh my god. Okay, we'll go to the one that's like far out, far out to the east. Okay, what time is it right now? Oh shit, it's almost midnight. In my or midnight my time. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears. There's a ladder. Should we see where it leads? I spent so much time here just getting used to the city and complaining about the frame rate. Let's see if we can at least get the monster calling over here, though. I cannot help but be wary. Uh, is, this is gonna suck a little bit because... Oh, wait, did I not, uh... I didn't take any... Oh, no, I did. Well, sort of. I just had to discard that shit. Can't combine it with anything. Oh, oh, your drop shit is actually actually stays on the ground instead of disappearing forever. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? All right. I'll cover these Dried now. flower. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Prescribe tranquility? Solemnity. A silencing spell. Oh wait. We keep going. Oh, two chests here. Winter's path. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll Rabbit find pal? a use for it, I'm sure. Leapworm skin. No. Why are they here? <laughs> I thought I thought we'd have to deal with leapworms here. Not now. Why can you get the materials for them right here? And not in, and not in some godforsaken dungeon. They should have stayed back on Bitter Black. Bruh. Also, do I not have a way to climb up here? Horde creatures. Uh. Okay, I know, I know what happens if we try to actually go down here. Hey, 
RC. So I'm get a scroll of genocide from Nethek in here. Wait, cave? Oh, oh, huh. Well then, how do we go around? Seen the brine is gonna screw with us. How far can we go? Uh, uh, uh. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk deep in water. It's the wait. Instantly consume anyone or anything that wades in the mist. If this befalls the original, will be revived momentarily. They're the exception. Ponds will become forfeit. All other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. Okay, so we can't go that far into the water. Man, we're getting a lot of spell tomes in these random piles here. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind. Yes. Why are you running away from me? Uh. Then I shall remain by your side. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. It is our duty to bring the beasts low. Okay. Kind of miss a lot of battles against the wild side of FPS and janky run animations. Uh, like the combat scene's fine. Like overall, like still solid. We haven't done too too much gameplay because like I messed around so much in the city already. But so far, everything seems kind of neat so far. Oh, I want to pick up the rotten meat. But yeah, I'm just kind of going full loot goblin mode for now because I really want to pick up this shit. curious. Goblins master! Shame I've no advantage against this bow. Are we all in the same boat? I grant your weapon a magic Oh shit. You must cleanse yourself of that oil. Post haste. Turn you into a pincushion! Really? What do you do? It is folly to pick quarrels with beasts. My curative magics are at your disposal. Halt if you please. We hunger for discipline. <laughs> Things these, or sure less we'll ox, more bison. Yeah, time. yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh, harpy. And goblins.
Count on me to fly to your aid. Oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to you. Master. Well done, Master. Pray none are M. Bison. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I want to pick up shit. Oh, is it raining? Anyone else see that? Or catches the light? We ought to take a closer look. Oh. Thank you for the heal. Dare I say it? Oh. We trounced our foe well and true. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Cut the tail. Ow, ow, shit. Yeah, we got the tail. Do we loot the tail? Ah, oh, I didn't drop anything. A flawless execution. Let us aim for greater precision with our next attempt. Oh, we need a rest because I need- I desperately need a camp to restore my max health. Alright, time to cook. Huh. Let's do Scrag a Beast. We are none of us. Bro. <laughs> I'm all for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. Nice. Okay, so we get our camping kit back from that ambush. Oh. Well, all right. Are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old Voyager. No harm in picking a few. Wait, are we forgetting other things to pick up down here? Oh, they're talking about- oh, they're probably talking about the fish. Are you uh... well met? Looking to make a purchase? Oh, wandering merchant. Oh, Fuliginor Worms Life Crystal? Huh. Oh, so you just sell a whole bunch of like ores specifically. What about other stuff? Oh, <laughs> our fish expired already. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Nothing caught your eye? 
That's a shame. Let's hope. I enjoy no, I don't want to talk to you! And prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Bro! Is there a thing to, like, not interact with pawns, like, just by walking in front of them? Holy shit! Are you serious? Bro, that is so annoying. Oh wait, the way down is like right there. The answer is clearly to kill all pawns on sight. Uh... Do you watch where you're going? You'll hurt. Uh, actually, we should go south. Yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Well, for that in the frames, maybe going solo is actually the idea. <laughs> uh, swear to God, I swear to God, no, 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 don't talk to me. Wait, where do we get that XP from? Oh, hey! A ruin set. Uh... Kicked me. Oh, shit. I brought you more flame. I have nothing further to add. I don't want. I don't. Okay, no wonder the. Okay, no wonder there's the option to change the. The hail to a press instead of a toggle. Oh, okay. More frames. One never can have too many of these. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? What? Where? Oh, what the heck? Wake stone now. We have the ability to revive ourselves or maybe an NPC once. Your staring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? What do you mean this thing is locked? Uh, is there no getting through this door? Can I not? Okay, there we go. Wait, oh, wait, how the fuck? Wait, oh, oh, I didn't see there's a hole in the roof. Oh, you already picked shit up there. The find of the century, I dare say. 
I wonder whether my master from beyond the rift managed to find that. Somehow I doubt it. Oh, they even have comments about whether or not the original or were the pawns like or rented pawns arisen actually found something that you stumbled upon. Tiger's eye? Hmm. Glad thing we rested with. Oh. Try not to get hit. Let's all let them go to waste. I grind your weapon and magic will boom. Oh. I was like, hey, there's someone here. Oh, one of the bandits. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of surprise though. They like I like consumables rot really fast in your inventory. Oh, oh, gold beetle. Oh, must consume. Is our first time in this place. We would do well to be wary. Keep stout of heart and clear of mind. Ooh. Oh. Oh, we can't wait. We have a pickaxe. We automatically have a pickaxe? Oh, shit. Like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. There's the Saurian scales and tail and stuff. So these beetles seem made for the YouTube these YouTube guy videos. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh no, I can just do a. Uh... There we go. into the brine. No, 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 no. Seeker tokens? There are... How many? 
There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring into to a guild hall and receive special rewards. Leave no stone unturned, no corner of the world unexplored if you want to complete your collection. Ah, now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Once again, YouTube guy videos. Crabs. Oh, crabs. Wait, can I slash at this? Nah. What's more, ought we not add an archer to our ranks? There's no wait. better ally for felling flying beasts. Oh! Wait, did... Oh shit, wait, Moose fell into the brine? Oh shit, I didn't notice that. I was like, wait, why are we asking for an archer? Uh, oh. Bro, no! Moose, I'm sorry. I'll get your pawn back. For a YouTube video though, you would split up, oh you split up a video on finding those beetles per region. Yeah, trying to do it all in one video is, is seems like asking for too much. Cause I, I thought the, the enemy that fell into the, I thought it was just the enemy that fell into the brine, not, oh shit. Moose, I need to get your pawn back. Oh, you can easily see just like that? Oh shit. Main pawn. <laughs> Big. Okay, so wait, can I like... Ah. Oh wait, can we not... Oh, can we not search for... Oh, we can't search for previous pawns that we've had? Oh. Oh, what? That sucks. No friend pawns? No, th there's no search function for that. You just get a list of the pawns that are in your immediate, like, area. What the heck? Like, it seems like you stumble across, like, your friend's pawns, like, your Steam friend's pawns. Just like that. But, otherwise, like, you can't find them in the rift? Like, I opened it and I didn't see Sir Goosen, like, Goosen's pawn within range. What the heck? Oh, that. Mm. A common reward, frustratingly so. This game needs some refinement patches. Yeah, I don't understand how. Like. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got problems. We have no means of exploiting our enemies' weakness. Oh shit. Okay, you cannot cancel out. Oh, oh, oh shit. Wait, wrong button. Let my magic strike you an elemental boom. Wow. Okay, you cannot cancel out of out of shit easily, okay. Oh shit. 
Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Why are you so like... Oh my god. Dude, I threw like so many consumables just like that. Oh, sorry, I don't want to leave you hanging. What? I, I pressed F? Hello? We could even do a post celebration that was hard thing. One. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, no, not that close to the ledge. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I wait for your ass. Now I had to do that way earlier. Senko Squad, how's it going? Finally playing Dogma 2. Where does Yon Path lead? There's only one way to find out. Oh. Is there anything else around here? Hey Ryota. Hey Zeha. Nazaro. Bull Cactus Lad. How y'all doing? We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. Actually, does this actually reveal... No, it doesn't, like, reveal, like, distant right stuff with are. invisible range. Oh man. But yeah, how's everyone doing? Oh, Like, I had a struggle last session trying to get my characters imported and everything, but... After talking it out and trying to figure out a solution... I finally got my characters imported, thankfully. Like, I, I tried to make my character based off of just uh, Sarah Valstein from the Trails games. Ingredients. And uh, it went about just as well as you... Well or uh, it went about just as well as you would think, going from anime 3D to realistic 3D. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think she ended up pretty, pretty decently for <laughs> what we can do in the RE engine. But yeah, right now we're on a quest to go all the way over here for monster extermination. And uh, we lost one of our pawns because of a unfortunate accident with the brine. Accidentally slipped and fell. Oh, hold on. Someone needs help. Wait, can I recruit you? Sir? Oh, are you not a pawn? Oh shit! You got bait when you think bandits are pawns, they just open up and do lots of damage to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is this? Wait, hold on, I wanna save. Hold on. Uh, anything we can... Hold on. Can we find anything over here? Ooh! Hey, I wanted to mine that. Yeah. I am currently very heavy. Uh, no, this just goes around. Yeah, this just goes around. Got some strawberries. This is generally <laughs> used as a material. 
My curative magic. Thanks for this game is crazy. Halting yeah, games. like th there's a a lot of cool stuff with Dogma too. Barring certain performance issues and c certain other things that we can kind of nitpick to death, but overall, I'm like what I'm seeing here. It's our first time here. Be vigilant. Do not bullshit. yet know what to expect. Bones! Walking bones! Holy attacks will serve us well here. Ow, ow, shit, I went across the wall. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Okay. Anything around here? So that I don't know. I think that's just the that, that's just empty there. Okay. Mm. He just senses. If Ord feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Be sure to keep your wits about you. Oh, but I, I... detoxifying. All right. Oh, hello. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Ow. Smash. What is this? What is that slimy jar? Swollen this path, Onyx. Wait, what? Oh, where do you come from? You hold the enemy focus, and I shall strike them down. The wise strategy. Oh, another fancy chest. This sign behind me isn't there. Oh, wake stone. Oh, hello. Wait, skeleton mage. Wait, oh. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero. Okay, you can attempt the revive by approaching them and touching them. Multiple fall. Multiple pawns by immobile in the vicinity can revive it. Oh, you can bro you have AoE revives? Wait. <gasps> Wait. The maximum health of a revived pawn would be equal to the pawn or arisen's remaining health. No, they oh no, they nerfed they nerfed revive spamming from Dogma 1. Oh, uh, cause like technically like you wouldn't really care too much about keeping your pawn's health in check but now if you revive too frequently you're gonna keep giving up too much of your own hp oh no oh dude they're, they, these are some huge nerfs wait holy crap oh, that's a hold oh oh ow Okay. Okay, so that does not revive teammates. Holy shit. But I'm stuck in the corner, dude, because of the stupid coffin. Bro. Fights are no longer a battle of attrition. Yeah. Yeah, more of them keep spawning. What the heck? Why are there so many? And I only have slashing weapons. I don't have blunt weapons against the skeletons. Oh my god, dude.
My daggers are doing jack shit. Yeah. I've just discovered a hidden route. Where might it take us, I wonder? Skeletons! There! Holy oh. attacks will serve us well here. Well done. Oh, I'm trying to move. Dude, they. Oh my god! Holy crap, like they keep aggroing on me. And I don't have. I, I need to get the discipline. Or not the, the augment to lower my aggro. This is ridiculous. Oh, were there really not that many? I guess like, wait, I thought I got some of them killed earlier. But man, we had to use a wake stone this early? Fuck me, dude. I hope they don't have a thing where you need to get like 20 wake stones for the post game or whatever, if there's a post game here, like in Dongle 1. You guess weapon damage types matter more now? I guess the mages are either making more or reviving them? Maybe? I don't know, because I thought we were putting down enough mages as is, right? Weird. Wait, also, what's going on here? There's like, uh... Wait, why is this marked with an exclamation mark here? I thought we were already done here. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy. Hmm, uh, I guess we're done here then. The mages might have been reviving each other? They can do that? It's crazy. So the undead are just that much more harder to try to like... ...actually fight. Huh. Okay, so there's nothing out here. Just the brine. Our foes are like to use the dark against us. Oh! Oh, actually, it might have been a thing of me having my lantern that is increasing my aggro because they did mention that using lanterns while, what was it, while lighting up your area attracts monsters toward you. Is that even like, does that also count for aggro radius too? Or uh, just aggro in general? Huh. Oh. Uh, uh, get over here, get over I here! I shall come at once, Arisen. I grant you roaring flame. Dude, okay. You... Th this is a rickety-ass bridge. Holy crap. Wait, where are the monsters? Oh, oh! My wolves! Magics are at your Wait, but they hunt in packs, oh, though. Where's the, where are the others? To retreat, then? Where you do not fall prey to the enemy's attack as we pass. True enough. Okay, now he finally jumped down for us. Oh, oh, oh. The paths Ooh. to victory are myriad indeed. That strategy never would have occurred to me. It is not what I expected. Ah. Oh. Oh, nice rock! I see you've been drenched. Dry off as soon as you can. Even for a 
moment, lest victory slip away from us. Oh, now I understand. What? Oh shit, wolves. I I'm stuck in a tree. Wolves, goblins, thorns, what's next to Chimera? Oh, please, no. Well done, master. High five. Still more saurians down there. <laughs> Damn, this is much more effective than... An elemental boom. ...than using my own weapons. Level up easily enough. No oh, rest oh, for shit. the weary, it seems. We will be hard pressed to find victory here if we cannot heal our wounds. Uh, I'm not gonna venture out there. We can camp here. Nice. It's getting light. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Look there. I spy another statue. But I I'll... can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. The arisen has been drenched. Oh, what's... We need to camp here. Really don't want to be out during the night. Alright, who's ready for food? Dude, this steak looks so nice. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. No ambush, no ambush, no ambush. Camp three times within... Oh, within... Oh, okay, you get a badge for camping multiple times within a, a region. You know, we can make more complex more? meals, adding green, green wires add and whatnot. To to our ranks. Uh, maybe, no I don't know. Ally for felling flying beasts. Keep pressing the wrong thing. What can we combine this with? Ah. Oh. 
So much stuff to mine around here. Anything over here? Off the beaten path? Wait, what is- wait, what was that purple- was that a purple looking monster? Oh shit, wait, what happened? It's calculated. Stand firm! You are not alone! Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint you. Ah, ah, shit! No! The prison has been poisoned! I shall heal you at once. So wait, are these Saurians poison? Use these flames to smite our enemies. What the fuck is this? Fulminant poison? If you're hit by additional blighting attacks while already blighted, you'll suffer fulminant poison, take massive damage, loss gauge will accumulate significantly, making continuation of battle a dire prospect. You, we have, we got, we have poison, and then we have toxic. Are you, are you serious, bro? No, we have super poison. So wait, can I show my waifu character? Oh yeah, I'll go- I'll go show her, uh, after we find a safe spot. Oh, you can- it's poisoning its own spear! Oh, ow, it hits really hard with the tail. Can I grab that? Yeah, Toxic Scale. Huh. Wait, anything over here? There has to be something going. There has to be something going along this. But yeah, I think it was a safe spot for me to show off my character. Uh, let me see. Let me just go remove remove this. Yeah. I also like uh, there's a little bit of a weird graphical effect when your character's looking, or when you have it like, it's back against the water. It has this like weird little shimmering thing, around it. But uh, yeah. So this is pretty much like the only like, ponytailish like hairstyle that I can find within the character creator but yeah overall like i'm kind of happy with how she turned out and everything also and then go remove the cloak as well actually wait what's this new ring that we got boost the fence you know i think we kind of need that wait let me actually you know what i think everyone's uh, pretty curious wait oh oh these pets are good you demand better ponytails. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like the character creator like has a lot of cool options and stuff, with like how in depth you can go into everyone's like features and stuff. But yeah, overall, yeah, I I think like she turned out pretty well for what I can do. The honkers are big. I mean, I'm trying to, like, make her based off of Sarah in fucking Trails. And, you know, pretty well endowed. Gotta make it accurate.
Okay, there we go. That's the reason. It's all for the extra weight. Yeah, it's all for the extra weight, you know? Yeah, like the smaller you make your characters, the lighter they are and the easier it is for them to get blown back by the wind or other monsters, you know? Gotta put in the extra weight somewhere. Also gotta make sure the, the ass is lore accurate too. A matter of fact, curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. <laughs> what? <laughs> chest here <laughs> no way Can I... to be cured with all due haste I grant your weapon a magical boon wait oh harpy oh don't fall Why am I sliding up? I anticipated. chess during this conversation too what do you mean uh okay that was a nice little diversion head back oh he's still debilitated oh shit wait uh do we have anything that cures Asleep. Uh, blighted. There we go. Yo, I heard that sound effect. Oi! Right. That's a rare find. Fortune smiles upon us this day. Gold we or have to find a use for it. Now that is a surprise. Lightning attacks and damage. When a lightning attack is unleashed, the magical energy cannot be contained. Bolts of lightning will branch off and jump to targets in the vicinity, dealing damage or additional damage. If a drenched target is struck by a lightning attack, resulting bolts will be able to reach a wider range. Oh! Ah, oh, that shit! But, ah, uh, you and, did you just anti-air me? Dude, this slope is annoying! <laughs> uh, dude, th why is the camera You're shaking so much? Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh, I'm unconscious? This debilitation can be inflicted by lightning attacks and blunt strikes. Oh, blunt strikes cause unconsciousness? Oh, I mean, makes sense. Oh, so I kept slapping myself from the lightning shield blocks and I caused myself to go unconscious because of that. What the heck? That is... Ah. Hacking bandits. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let's Ooh, great. Strive to better ourselves with every battle. Oh is my movement being slowed because of the slope right now? Oh my god, this is getting annoying. Wait, oh, what's going on here? Protect the shipment! Steal yourselves! Cut the fiends down! Don't let them touch the shipment! How does this happen? If you are in need of aid, I thank you for coming to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. Ah. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. Okay, so we did it. Nice. Yon statue makes for a fine landmark. Shall we search for a path to lead us to it? Let's see, panacea. Oh, can't. I'm over encumbered. Uh, hold on. You know what? Might as well go camp here. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I picked up a beetle. Wait, I gotta eat it. Yeah, we can carry more weight now. Alright, is the immediate area clear around us? I wanna go camp. Oh, right, even the even the guards that we were helping out are sitting here too. We are none of us alive. All right, who's ready for more food? Mm. I really gotta wonder with other. Where? Types of food that we can cook. I wonder how that will look. Settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. All right. So they said there's something over here that we should take a look at. Oh, I'm not liking this. Oh shit! Here we go again. We fight. Two arms. Understood. In the corner you go. <gasps> Beetle! I expect this yeah. would fetch a fair sum at market.
So it's 1 a.m. They're just a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Wait. Oh, shit! Wait. Is that a... Oh, shit, is that a... Minotaur or something? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that was a wide ass sweep. Okay, hold on. Uh, da, da, da. A small amount of stamina. Strike me if you can. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh. Uh -oh. Our oh, let's go. Oh, oh, I got kicked. Woo. I expected victory to be swift against such a foe. Where did we go wrong? We must need stink on us. Ah, ow! Look out, Dorisic! We're under attack! Yeah, no shit. Woo! Let me eat something while we're climbing on this. If we are to best, the enemy slows. Perhaps we have tied them out. We must not give them a chance to recover. <laughs> a focused attack or end this boat. Mm. Uh, oh, hold up. oh, okay. I, I can see something very bad happening right now. Hold up, hold up. 
Uh, where is my stamina stuff? horn, blue cap. Neat! High five. Oh, I was not expecting a minotaur attack while we're venturing through here. So wait, what's this place marked as? Or not? Huh. Oh yeah, wait, uh, can I give you... Hold on. Uh, it's only for archers and... Uh... Right, so I can't give that. Okay. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll oh find my god, there's still so much more to explore time. around this area. Wait. Oh, you just harvest the bark like that? Oh. Oh, okay. So if you see like the little markings on a tree, that's bark you can harvest. Now you can claim to have had a meal while being on a Minotaur's back. Uh Oh, wait, we can walk on the on the ledge here. Hold on. Okay, wait, no, this might be a very bad idea. Never mind, never mind, go back, 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 back. Wait, is that a bark I can harvest right here? No? Okay. Uh, oh, chest. Oh, rift crystals. All right. We already made like 50 cents worth based on the DLC. All right. It's like we're getting real money value by picking up rift crystals by playing the game. Oh, man. Tread carefully. It seems our every step is being watched. Nameless village. A mysterious settlement? Huh. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? Yes. You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. We just need a place to stay. You best go elsewhere. There's no business to be had here. That's fine. What can go wrong? Ooh, chest. You are carrying far too much, Master. Pray lighten your pack. That you might move nimbly again. Oh, we can care. We can pick up stuff while we're over and cover. Oh my god, I can't. This, this is the fastest I can walk. What you need of me? Oh my god, dude. I need to. Wait, hold on. I need to move shit. <laughs> uh,
Oh, finally. Oh, what is this? Uh, ripened. All right. Is that who I think it is? I, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expected. But I suppose that's neither here nor there. It is a question of skill at the end of the day. So you say, but you wagered against our visitor, did you not? And I'd do it again. Just look at that fool's face. Ooh, test. Salubious drought. Hey all! Or you neither me. Well met, sir. How fancy look at my wares. Sure, what you got? You got Oh Oh wait dude. The the Wait, how do you pronounce this? Bardish daggers? Wait, dude, this is a huge upgrade. Wait, I, I need a I need a cell shit. Signs of Valor? Wait, what? You, ancient daggers inscribed with a unique design. Why does this feel why does that feel like Huh? Okay, what about this one? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this hood? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, it jiggles. It sways. That's cool. Rampart Breaker? Wait. Oh, this looks cool. Also, oh my god. The extra defense here. Ring of Tenacity? Oh. Okay, hold on. Dare I sell all of my panaceas? Surely I won't regret this. Stoutness, Extract. Oh! Increases defense magic. Defense. Eh, we can sell that. Sure, I won't regret this turns to stone. Ah, it's fine. Where are we gonna find another Gorgon? Highly unlikely. A cockatrice? Nah, nah, that's like endgame stuff. No way. Onyx? Ooh. Oh, I kinda wanna sell that. We can go sell this bow. Surely? Yeah, surely! Yeah! Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can sell this. What can go wrong? You know, I saw the ripened food as well. Only four evil eyes in a locked room. I, all I, just don't look at them. Easy. Let's see. Sell that. Pink hat withered. Nah, we keep the Minotaur horn. Man, we don't have much else. Mimic with a Gorgon trap inside or something. Wait, how much do I need for the daggers? Oh, I need... Like 800? No. Yeah, like 800-ish more, give or take. Okay, how am I gonna make that much? Uh, okay, we have a lot of choices for what to make. I mean, I could sell... You know what, okay, I'll go sell some of my restoratives, because... I'd say we're still a bit early enough into the game where we can't really make full use of some of the restoratives. 
Or I could sell the- no, I don't want to sell, like, my equipment too early. Eh, how about the fish? Yeah. Give me the daggers. Always a pleasure. Oh, these are going to make such a huge difference. Although, I just realized that I, uh, I won't be able to sleep here because I just spent all my money. Loaded up letter? An anonymous letter that bears a phrase... A piece of brass. Key item. Huh. Yo, 1,000 gold. If we can loot some more houses, we can... probably stay the night. Mince meat. Fried fish. Must be the visitor I've heard so much oh. about. Have you some business here in the village? What is this village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? You would know of our village? Is okay. there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like, sir. Oh, money. Do we have enough money? Fifteen hundred. Is this place cheap? This is the inn, of course. Nothing's free in this world. Oh, we have exactly enough to to sleep here. <laughs> yes. It would benefit us all if the roads were safer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. This is the inn. Why so we've poor? Spirit, we look at oh no! Of course. Nothing's free in this world. There's no way the, the daggers would have had anything to do with it. Oh. Fairy stone? Ring of Endeavor. Slightly boost discipline gain from... What? We have to, we have to obtain 220 Seekers tokens to get a ring that can actually slightly increase our discipline gain that far in? What the fuck? Legions might revive, pawns of equipment can revive of their own accord. Oh. Charming gar or corset. To flattering effect. Eternal bond. When offered as a gift, deepens the bond between gift and receiver. Oh, so I'm guessing instant beloved status or something. Perfusion. Moderately increases max carry weight. Twilight star. Dousing spikes. Huh. Bring a triumph. Boost max health, stamina, and weight. Oh. More likely to stagger and knock down foes. Ooh. Worthless. Uh. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go see what we can get. Can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe. Oh. Concussive step? Explosion to withdraw from the point of detonation. Flinch is lightweight. Powder charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cast out cords and tugs on the. Oh! Oh, I want that. 
bump and lift. Robs the target of an item when using car below success rate. Oh, you can automatically try to Oh no, I'm getting those. I'm getting that shit. Footpad. Kick off a wall. Oh, bro, it's like the fucking Apex kick boost here. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, I didn't want that one. I wanted. Wait, I was trying to click on this one. What the? Oh, whatever. Wait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I said acquired. I can't read. Don't mind me, streamer can't read. It's like one in the morning. Probably get the core skill. Ah, should I get other weapon skills? Ignited. Let's get Shadow Cloak real quick. I just wanted to like, just have that available. There's a smoke bomb blinding nearby targets, counterattacking, withdrawing. Oh, interesting. So, we dousing spikes were a black hat weapon in the in Dogma 1. Oh. oh I want to get in snare. I'll get ignited blades. And honestly, I want to try smoke screen. All right, let's see. Ensnare. Yeah, let's go try that. Alright, what about what about Reen? They okay, got a lot uh, to work with here. Yeah, uh, increased aggro. Thank you. Use a shield to ease the impact from falling. <laughs> Wait, bro, you can use a shield to absorb part of a fall? What the fuck? We're perfect parrying the earth. That is not how this works. When using defend while enchanted, counters with an elemental attack of... Oh, cool. You know, I'm getting the core skills here. Springboard. <gasps> oh, oh, oh shit. I, I want to I wanna see how this actually works. I never actually used this before. Impeccable guard. What do you have a fucking spin away with a shield? Oh, ooh. Oh my god. Compass. Oh, oh no, no, we need no, no, I want the AOE. Airward slash blink strike. You know, I really don't know why they don't have a send all of category into into storage. Because oh my god, I really wish I could. I gotta remember my stuff still expires within there though. I 
I keep exiting by accident. Hello, Alex. How you doing? Okay, so... Let's see, anything we want to withdraw? Savagery extract. Okay, you know what? We should probably take one. Try another one of these. Valuables. Email. Okay. So let's go take all the perishables here. Yeah, they're really gonna expire. Immense amount of health. Sleep debilitation. Hmm. Uh, combine. Oh yeah, what can we combine? Uh, wicking. Oh, use it to cure tar. Dried fruit. Oh, we can combine ripened food into dried items oh wait then oh okay that's great then so they don't expire then For me, we'll actually go give him a couple like consumables and oh, whoops, our spells already rotten. Okay. Glad to be of service. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Time out. One thing that bugs me about the menu here, like. So let's say if we just hover over and we go over like save or options, right? Let's say if we want to go straight over to this side. You can't select it right away. You have to click into options, then click into this, and then you can change whatever you're looking at. You can't just like skip straight from whatever here with the mouse or controller for that matter. Well, I mean, not that you could, uh, because you just have to press anyways. But on a mouse, it's like, you think you'd be able to just, like, mouse your way directly here? No. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. But, uh, yeah, so I think this is gonna be a good place to stop for tonight. It's getting late. If I continue, we'll be here all night. And... I gotta wake up early for something tomorrow for family things. So, good session tonight. Like, no crashes. The frame rate's absolutely garbage in cities. But overall, like, I'm having a good time. Maybe I'll try playing with the controller after, or uh, when I do the next session. Because, like, unless I'm doing something with, like, archery or something that requires aiming. It's a little bit weird trying to use my skills and stuff. I don't know, it's like some weird things to, because, because of having to hold a modifier button to then use a menu, a selection of skills on the fly, compared to like, uh, how much more like, what was it? How much more seamless it is to pull off on controller because like on keyboard I have to kind of like I kind of have to like 
stretch my hand out, I guess? Like, if you kind of, like, hover your hand over, like, a keyboard or something, and, you know, like, you're trying to hold forward with your middle finger, you have your pinky on control, and then while you're still moving forward or trying to, like, veer left, not right, try to press, like, 4 or whatever button you have set by default, like, whether it's, like, R, T, G, or whatever the game's default binds were while holding it as like bro it's a, a little bit awkward compared to like gripping your controller for holding l1 and then using whatever selection right then and there does it seem like a controller game yeah it seems like a controller game just by virtue of like not having that awkwardness of trying to select skills on the fly because, like, times where I wanted to use, like, Twin Fang for, like, those, like, for that double jab or execute, like, I always had to keep remembering to, like, use my thumb. Because, like, normally in other games, to me, you would have, like, you know, your left click for your light attacks and right click for your heavies. But instead of right clicking, which is, uh, for some reason, uh, right clicking is the dodge for Thief, which is, diff which is what, um... What was it? The right click is the vocation specific move. In this case, Thief has the dodge. But uh, if I want to do the heavy attack or the twin fangs, I have to like use my left thumb for V. And it just kind of screwed with a little bit of my muscle memory of like what I'd expect in other action games. Because, you know, if, if I did action games on keyboard, like, you know, I'd always see left click light, right click heavy, and then other buttons, like other one or other buttons you just press without oh sorry uh you just have regular button presses for skills not having to hold control for the most part unless it's like a very specific thing or if i'm playing like an mmo or whatever then mmo is like yeah like that's kind of par for the course like it doesn't really feel that bad but in an action game where when you're also holding like maybe w or d or a if you want to move left or right and then you gotta like carefully move your ring finger or or whatever it's like or maybe like oh uh, try to imagine this over your keyboard like you hold control to bring up the menu but you got to keep moving so you got to hold forward but you need to try to like move to the right while trying to press control four so then you hold w to keep moving forward control with your pinky and then you hold D with your middle, and then you try to press 4 at the same time with your index finger, and it's just like, bro, like, that, that's so awkward. <laughs> that's so awkward not trying to, like, mash like that. But, yeah. I mean, like, in terms of just how it feels, like, in terms of just, like, uh, oh, it's like, putting aside, like, the awkwardness of key placement... Because that's probably something you'd have to resolve through, you know, personal tweaking and everything. Like, keyboard itself, like, you know, uh, moving with the camera and, like, attacking in general. You know, regardless of the, you know, hand position awkwardness that you'd have to work around, depending on how your keys are set up. Like, combat and everything on mouse and keyboard feels great. And also, I would imagine things would be much, much easier if you were playing, like, a bow class or anything that needs, like, actual manual aiming. Because <laughs> we all know my whole shtick on, like, spiel on, uh, controller aiming. <laughs> Unless there's a heavy dose of aim assist, which, oh, don't get me started on that again. But okay. Let me just go save for now and get some rest. Uh, and yeah, again, as we can see here, no new game option. You gotta dig into your files if you want to get rid of your current save and make a new one. Uh, thanks Capcom. New, uh, the ability to make a new game will come in a later update that we're, that we're looking into. It's like, what do you mean you're looking into it? It's a basic ass feature. Uh... It was even there in Dogma 1. Why is it not here? All right, all right. But, okay, I got to stop for tonight. I, I really got to get some sleep. So, uh, so on YouTube and everything, because I am multi-streaming this and stuff, uh, thanks for watching. 
I'm gonna go cut the feed here while I look for someone to raid over on Twitch. So for anyone watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Dogma 2, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye YouTube. Thanks for watching. All right.